Fluor. Hi. How are you guys doing? We'll start in a second. Oh yes. Oh yes. Uh, is the game too loud or is it good? I think it's good, right? Hello, good evening, hello. It's louder. It's just a menu song. It's just a menu song. The louder, the better. Nice, Pixie Pony. Hey, hey, hey. I don't remember anything about this game. Except that it's good. <laughs> That's all. Thank you, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. JJMC, thank you so much for the five months. Thank you. Turns out I don't have a really many great disco song. Uh, disco. Clothes. Alternative reality, pineapples are official currency. What? What the hell? Hey, disappointed milk. Hey, good evening. Hey, hey, Velasco. Thank you. Thank you. This is the only like bell bottom pants I have. It's full of like bunny fur and shit. <laughs> YouTube, hi Twitch! Gosh. Oh. Benoit? Okay, it's loud. Okay, is this better? Okay, you guys ready to start? Uh, it should be better. I think the music is only loud in the menu. Is this better? Hold on. So, uh, thinker, sensitive, physical. I think we'll create our own. 
Oh, the game audio is loud, not just the menu. Is, is this better then? Definitely not think. Badass bard, basically. Now there is no audio. Oh shit! Are you guys ever happy? I cannot hear the audio that you guys hear now. Okay. <sighs> Hold on. Let's create our own. I'm not using a dress. <laughs> Is my game too too wide? No, it's not. What the hell? Wait one second. You see, Boo, you have. How you mean you see Boo? He he has his face like, in in the salad. Okay. Hold on. Let's see. Ah. Uh... Psych. I think this is good. Intellect, psychs, physique, motorics. Yeah, you guys, people are not going to understand that I have like uh, brain damage. And that I forget everything of a game. If it has been six months. Um, so just say it's my first playthrough. Because they're they're not going to get it. And they're going to say spoilers in chat. Yep. Yeah. There is... <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I... I I, I, I have a very good memory, but for very different things. So, games that I usually play on stream, especially, you know, by the shit I was going through in real life at the time, they are just not going to stay in my mind. Um... How about this? Electric rainbow. Again, my string flies in not. I, I I just don't remember games. I love them, but I remember I remember the feelings I felt while playing something, but I don't remember why or how I felt those feelings. I I know I love this game, but I don't remember why. Uh, Nostromo, I'm very clumsy. I'll hide Boo for now, so he can eat in peace. <laughs> hey Savila, hey, hey, happy to have you here. Uh I think this is good. Oh, do we put some Ah nice, thank you, Pimox. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Mwah, thank you. Chris, thank you so much for gifting full our subscription. Mwah. Okay, are we ready to start? Okay. I hope we are. I don't know if I keep this close. I... I don't know. Okay, it's fine. Uh, maybe... Maybe this. What do you guys think? I think it's good. Logic? Bash, thank you so much for the 30 months! High five! Thank you! Thank you for your support. More insight? This? It's level four. I think this is good. What feet do you recommend? love your streams. May the bunnies be with you. Yeehaw! Angel, thank you so much for your cheer tree for four months. I can't believe it. It has been only four months. <laughs> thank you. Mwah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How you mean back to the disco? Uh, I... 
Logic, Raw, Knowledge, Rhetoric, Demer, Conceptualization. Okay. Uh, volition? What is good? You felt like the game was playing with me the entire time? Uh, can I pick more than one? Or just one signature? Oh, just one signature. Shivers? Can I put only one point? Inland. I don't see it. Hunches and gut feelings. Oh, shit. Hmm. I think I'll go with with uh, understand creativity, see art in the world. Volition. Hold yourself together, keep your morale up. Seems seems like a useful trait to have. Keeping it together, Bree. I feel like There is some NPCs in Divinity that if I hear their voice lines, I might commit murder and I might kill somebody by my side. Keeping it together, Bree is one of them. I'll go with conceptualization. Don't you dare! Hear ye, hear ye, Queen Justinian, ba 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 ba! Jesus. Wait a minute. We are about to start. run out of battery. Hold on. God, the music! I, I do need to throw my mouse out of a window. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I... No, we... We are playing, uh... Psychic. Oh, the music is so good. Okay, let's go. Inland Empire is probably the... The coolest. Wolf on the run, really? You guys... Do you guys mind if I recreate my character? And put the in Inland Empire? Or can I just put points later? Nah, it's fine. It's fine. There is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Sub. Your conscious for men, Cine. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Esmeralda, thank you so much for the six months. Mwah. Ever. Ever? Never, ever. Never, ever, ever? Never, ever, ever, baby. All right, I'll just simply keep on non-existing. An inordinate amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. Ah, oh, give me some more. <gasps> you got it, sweet brother. Nothing upon nothing upon nothing. I like nothing. I know you do, baby. I know. 
How about you cut up some more of that sweet oblivion? Coming right up, sir. Smooth passy. Alunzia, let's go! Alright. Nothing town to fuck all, Barra. Let's visit. No. A return trip to the silence, please. Do you want me to upgrade that to a one-way trip, sir? Don't stop. Keep singing. Sing me the song of death. The song of death is sweet and endless. But what is this? Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meet around you. A sensation. Like a fly to the ointment, your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert, hurting, longing, dancing to disco music. You can take it. You're a champion. What? No, I am not scared. I am a champion. By the way, if there is any option you guys want me to pick, just just put it in chat. The number. The stench of liquor rises from your mouth, and with it, an ungodly headache. Who am I? What sort of creature does this to their own mouth? A fiery streak penetrates your skull, trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound. Holy fuck! Somehow, you know what it is. A Caprice can name a motor carriage. Ah! Fuck! Jesus Christ! That's a boat. Damn, I'm fucking hot. Face down, ass up. Let's fucking go. Jesus. Okay, is the game sound good? It is, right? It was very, it was very loud for me. Oh, ah, my head. Magmon sized bottle of Commodore Red is empty. Looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. This real to real tape player is still on, rolling empty. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Oh, I was hanging myself. Or has it been consigned there? As punishment. Punishment, you feel as though this creature is your friend and wants to reattach itself to your neck so that you may continue your adventures together in this strange world. What the fuck? The, the tie is my friend? Okay, grab the tie. You reach out to grab Fuck! the tie. Fuck! But what's this? Diffuse, radiating chest pain. Oh, no. Doom comes over you. No. Grab my chest. This is bad. <laughs> Feels Fuck. like sharp stones grinding in your chest Fuck! and keeping you from Good moving. Good morning, bunnies. Good morning. Hey, Pilotica. Hey, hey, hey. 
for quite a long time. Oh, if I had pulled... Oh, fuck. Still ongoing. Now is a good time to start worrying. Finally, Kuska, the pressure please. recedes. Thank you. You find yourself covered in cold Can I ever get the tie again? Or is that... Or is it done? done? Put on the fun. Come oh, 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 let's go! It should be easier to reach the time. High five! Okay, okay. We grab. You swoop let's go! High five! Snap. It's released from the blade. Warning, warning. The necktie is no longer contained. What you have in your hand is a fantastically colorful tie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. If it's your friend, why was it up there? Who ties their friend to a ceiling fan? Maybe this thing is dangerous somehow. A dangerous tie. Do you guys know how to do a knot tie? I actually learned how to do that, but I don't think I could. I would probably tie my fingers with it. An ominous foreboding feeling fills you as you look at the tie. Okay. Pull the light. Pull on the light bulb. A terrible mistake. Ah, uh, fuck! The off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. Bring it on, baby. Your eyes burn with photosensitivity. It's not good. Oh, fuck. It is bad. Hold on, so you guys can see my help. Uh, okay. Uh, We're gonna die. We are gonna die. Okay. We leave. Oh! Clothes! Nice! We got the jacket, we got the pants, we got the... You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. No pants? Oh shit. Okay, fish. Fish them out. It says... Whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. Oh, is the background sound? Uh, no, there is, there is a background. Hold on. Uh. Okay. I lowered a little bit. When was the last time we showered? I don't think we ever did. I just lowered a little bit. I don't think it changed much. Riel, the narrator's voice is good, isn't it? I love when he talks to me. Well, there is one of the voices. There is multiple narrators. What's this? It's broken. The window stands yeah, we are right in the beginning. Frame. Cold wind blows in. Oh, access the damage. The shards face outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. Oh, cool. Did I break it with my own hands? A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. Okay, so what did this then? More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. Okay, access the size of the impact. It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. A like bottle? The green shoe that's on the hat rack. Oh, the, the shoe! Which, coincidentally, is missing its friend. Oh. Congratulations. You smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you can still find the other on the balcony outside. The uh, door okay. should be outside your room. Okay, I should go and get that freaking shoe. Or tree! I don't need it! I don't need anyone! The window agrees. Its cracked smile is cold and sparkly. Walter, thank you so much for the two months. Mwah, thank you, thank you. Okay. Okay. 
Do we disco in this game? Oh yeah, we disco. We disco. I I I need to get myself a better disco outfit. But those pants are the only bell bottom pants I had. Mirror. What's this? Not a mirror. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. <laughs> Hot water sprays from the base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. Nice, let's move. Okay. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Okay. Should we do this now? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It has been like, God knows. You want to see my face? Sub. Boss Bob, thank you so much for the 26 months. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, I, I, I just can't with a hat. Like, I, I need to, to throw my hair around. Okay, let's go. Um, wipe the mirror. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Abort. You clearly have not thought this through. What? You won't like what you see there. And you will never unbecome it. What? Two, one. I don't care. I hurt myself. It's what I do. No. Maybe I should touch it first. Make sure there's nothing wrong with my face. Yeah. There is definitely something wrong with it. How bad could it be? Where to even begin? There is the bloatedness, then the swollenness. It's like there's an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. Fuck! Uh... It's not. It's swollen oh. and snail-like, wriggling between your fingers. My nose? It's not. Your nose feels like a small balloon in the middle of your face. It hurts when you honk it. It doesn't appear to be a particularly tiny nose either. Oh. Not with all the drinks it's absorbed for you. Oh, come on! Okay. Three, four, five. Three, four, five. Honk, honk. Honk, honk. Honk, honk. Four, four, four. Okay. You Looks very nice. Lyra, much love Max. and many seal in house for us. Mm, thank you, thank you, thank you for the six months of support. Okay, let's wipe the mirror. <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of handsome, aren't I? I don't know, it's good. I don't know, I like it. You know, if, if Santa Ava needs a replacement for Rudolph. That's us. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? Uh, of course I do. It's, um, it's some kind of superstar. I think I'm a superstar. It appears you're also dead. There's clearly rigor mortis on your face. What? Oh, wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? I think it, it might be because I'm a superstar. Please stop. It's horrible. No. You're scaring yourself. No, this is what superstars do. You can't, can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. <laughs> I've worn that grin into your face and now it won't come off. <laughs> what does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Superstardom, baby. You should check yourself for a pulse, superstar. From here, it looks like a cadaverous spasm. You find no sign of life on your swollen neck. Oh. However, putting your hand on your chest reveals an irregular heartbeat. You appear to be alive for now. Fuck. Am I gonna die? How are you gonna scale? Thank you. Thank you. 
Wait. Why would I want to stop the expression from happening? I'm a superstar, bitch. You're jealous. You can't make the expression. Dig deep into your mind. Locate the source of the expression. Leave the mirror for now. Should we leave? We can come back later? Shit. Three. There is an extension for this Coliseum. I tried to make it work, but I think it's dead. But the extension for this game is like, it's re it, it apparently was really good, like the Baldur's Gate one, sad. that you guys could not only vote, but you could give me or remove stats from me. And you could also see my quest log. You could see everything. But sadly, I don't think it's working anymore. If you guys, if you guys figure out a way to make it work, let me know. But I just couldn't. I just couldn't. 2160p. Thank you for the two months. Okay, let's get out of here. No, no, no. I, I, you don't. Oh, hello oh, there. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Hello. Are you single? Romanceable option? Let's go. Wait, did I forget my shirt? Oops. Oops. I didn't see it. Um. Officer? Am I a military personnel? Uh, no. There's only one solution to this. You're a businessman. Then why did you call me officer? Because you're a police officer, sir. Oh. <laughs> you're shitting me. I'm not. Unless you've been shitting us all this time. All oh, this time? You've been here for three days. On official police business, no less. And what business is that? Couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. Holy fuck! Okay, okay, okay. Um... Maybe if we talk to others, it will increase. Oh man, can, can I, can I save scum in this game? <laughs> Three, is this peer pressure? The words have already left your mouth. <laughs> of course. No! Fuck! No, 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 no! Really? Is this like those guys that type in, in chat? They just fail the shack and then they're doing it? Babe. I want to have fuck with you. <laughs> what was that? That's not even how words are used. What did you say? Come on, say it again. I said, I want you to have sex with you. <laughs> no, you see, that's not what you said. You said... <laughs> Come on, man. Freddy, please. One more time. I said, 
I want to have fuck with you. <laughs> Goddamn right you did. You crazy asshole, you. Ah! What kind of cup are you? It worked! Did it? <laughs> um... You can- it's the funniest one you don't with disco? How you mean? What? Oh shit, Superstar? Fine. Superstar cop. It's been established, baby. Okay, that's cool. Or if I can just maybe ask you to elaborate on that superstardom a tiny bit. I think too. I feel like if you're gonna if you're gonna go with the show, we're we're gonna we're gonna stick to it. I sincerely think I'm a superstar. It's a theory I'm developing. I have certainly been entertained. Thank you. Whatever you are, you should stick to it. Otherwise, it's gonna suck for you later when you have to interrogate me. And for the record, no, I didn't do it. Is she a murderer? Okay. Wait, hold on. Apparently, I have a shirt. Shirt? The fan stands still. Hold on. Where, where, where's the fucking shirt? Oh, no, that's the window. Shirt. Oh! Tab highlights? Nice, thank you. Okay, shoe. Stupid ass shoe. Sure. Oh, is this my shirt? Oh. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, I'm dying? Is this normal? I literally just left the tutorial. There's something on the table. What's that thing? Money? Real? Nice. Nice. What's this? Can I knock on her door? The door is closed. We knock? Sub. Five finger, thank you for the nine months. With you. Thank you for making subscription with me for the nine months. Mwah. <laughs> Knock! There is no answer. You hear the shower being turned on oh. somewhere inside. Oh, nice. A tremendous loneliness. Comes <laughs> Thank over you, Five Finger. Everybody in the world is doing something without you. What? I'm having an existential crisis because I knocked on the fucking door? Are you guys for real? No, one is pathetic, okay? Four? No, four... No, I think three. Three? Three is what a fucking sup superstar will do. Beauty! Don't abandon me in all this ugliness! The door does not care. The door probably thinks you're a has-been loser, too. You feel your funny necktie becoming tighter and tighter around your neck. Knock again. Still no answer. Knock again, much harder. Still nothing. Again! Still nothing. Handle. This door can only be opened with a key or from the inside. Let's leave. Nobody saw him. She's in the shower. She didn't hear. It's fine. We're gonna move on. We're gonna... 
God. We're gonna move on. What's this? It's raining. Brandy window. Hell yeah, baby. Five. There they both are. Two identical shoes, both copiously green and indiscriminate <laughs> snakeskin, <laughs> reunited on your feet. Five minutes into being a boy, you became a creep. Congratulations, you're a realistic boy. Thanks, Steph. I'm doing... Like two baby crocodiles. What? How they fit? Good. They're balanced. Comfy. Feels like the only good thing about you right now. Truth. Oh no, I didn't mean to skip. Fuck. Okay. I have clothes. I have shoes. I have a... I have ashamed myself. I feel like it has been a good morning. Some door closed for the winter. Oh, did I, did I fuck up? Okay, hold on. <laughs> Ranking, thank you so much for the seven I'm months. I'm amazed how your moments of courageous vulnerability and humanity inspire me. Thank you for being you. Thank you, freaking sir. We were just thinking about disco right now. Thank you. Thank you for the seven months. What's this? You should totally sing karaoke here. The first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know your vast oceanic soul. My soul is immense. Utterly. And it needs to be heard through a PA system. By other people. Oh, this is gonna be bad. This goes well with a theory I'm developing that I'm a down-my-luck superstar person. Who is mistakenly identified as a cop for his prominent jawline? Yes, sounds likely. <gasps> you should probably go on stage and pose for a moment when you're done with this thought. See if it works. What should I sing when, the, when it comes to it? You have not yet stumbled on the right lamentation, but it's out there. It'll come to you. You will wreak havoc with it. Don't worry. I was thinking maybe I could sing something happy. Get people going. No, no. Don't sing the happy song. It's stupid. Sing the sad song. It's profound. You have to find something tragic to sing first, though. Damn it! Okay, well... Wait. Is this taxidermy? A man in his late twenties hey, stands hey, no, behind hey, hey. the counter, inspecting it's okay. a stuffed. Maybe we can change our mind. As you Look at it. Oh, thank you so much for the stream. This game is then looks down place. again. Great watching you play it. Thank you, Zakete. Thank you. Okay. That was disdain in his eyes. Even now, he is purposely ignoring you. Looks like he's not a fan. Oh. I sense you're not a fan of mine. Oh no, you're a hero. A real hero cop. Wait, hero? I'm a fucking superstar, bitch! Could the massive property damage upstairs have anything to do with this? Um... So... Not only am I a cop, but also a hero. Darvine, thank you for your prime. A real decorated hero. Oh, fuck, what did I do? What did you not do? First, you took the body down. 
Then you solved the murder. Then you didn't trash my hostel room. Maybe you even negotiated the strike. What? This is not taxidermy. This is a plushie. You are taxidermy if you keep talking about this. Davarin, thank you. Oh my god, did I do all these things? No, you see, actually, you didn't. You haven't done anything even remotely useful since you got here. What have I been doing here? Have you seen me around? No, I haven't seen you around. I'm not always here. Uh, let's look at this stuffed bird. The competent work of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters gotcha. and drying mugs. One of its wings broken. Hi. The man is trying to mend it. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it. Did I? Most likely on a wall. I did that. This is the great skua. The seabird is the symbol for the discovery of the Insulindian Isola. The part of the world you are in right now. Something about it makes you feel bitter. Tree. Tree because we succeeded knowing this so maybe we should use the that's the great school right look your buddy is over there <laughs> why don't you go and talk to him okay uh what do you mean my buddy he pretends not to hear you concentrating on the bird instead i should have asked for help a competent work of text looks like the bird was this is the great skua something about it makes you feel bitter can i help you with that look your buddy is why don't you go and talk to him oh, okay he pretends is... not to hear you concentrating on Most the bird instead let's just go gaming no thank you so much for the ten thousand bitties holy fuck dude if you're relating a lot to this maybe it's a sign you need help have you considered getting help? I'm serious. Hey, thank you. Thank you so much for the 10,000 videos. Hugs. Mwah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, can we have some Joels in chat? Please. Just some Joels. Oh, lady. Thank you. Thank you, Mango. You're so kind. Thank you. Honestly, I love him. He's very... He's very... Are you Joel Tormosi? Is he very... He's very... Human? If that makes sense? Hello, sweetie. Oh, it's Granny! Oh, gosh, I was about to ask if it was a romanceable option. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. <laughs> I'm sorry, Grandma. Uh, is she single though? A bespeckled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. If an assault were launched on this building right now, if the windows came crashing down and the whole world descended upon you, this man would hurl himself in death's way to save you. You are sure of this, but why? Okay, so this man would save me. Okay. Hold on. Who is he to me? Can I do all? I, one is just talking to myself, right? He is your half-brother. What? Really? Okay, shake his hand. Hello. I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Precinct 57. You must be from the 41st. It doesn't... You realize he is waiting for your name. He doesn't know me. This is your chance to come up with a really good name for yourself. Get creative. 
conceptualize. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. Okay, what name? What name? We'll invent a name for ourselves. Yes! Have Your name should be deep gold and orange, like a forest fire looming on the horizon, but mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath. You're two <laughs> steps closer to it, but there are still many to go. It is not yet time. Okay, then. <gasps> it looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday, too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? Um. Find your face. Find your face. Find your face. Find your face. Malakan, thank you so much for your prime. May the bunnies be with you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you know, his reaction, okay, then. I feel that. I felt like that in my soul. Like, the other day that I was outside barking at this random dog, my friends, they didn't really comment on what I was doing. They, I just felt this incredible vibe of okay them, then coming from their direction. If you know what I mean. Chris, thank you so much for gifting Lucius a subscription. Hi, Lucius. Hey. What he means is, he has been trying to meet up with you for two days, but you have been otherwise occupied. Uh... Oh, did I tell you guys? So, so... I... When I didn't stream, two days ago, two days ago I did not stream, I went outside, and there is this random window in a random building nearby that there is a dog that's often barking. So I started barking back to that dog. So in my head, we built like a, a friendship. So I started barking at the dog, but the dog didn't bark back. So I barked a few more times. Nada. And then this guy that was on the street, on the other side of the street. He was like, if you want, I can give you my phone's internet. So you can try to call whoever you're trying to, to reach. I didn't have the heart to tell him that I was trying to talk with a dog. So I just say, oh, it's okay. Thank you. And I walked away. That's disco as hell. I know! This is why this is so relatable. I know the guy was so nice. <laughs> Bubas, thank you. Mwah, thank you. I do feel the animal handling shack. Yep, it's okay. If I ever have a, a day off again from stream, I'll let you guys know the update of the dog story. <laughs> that person was probably a psycho for approaching a person barking on this it could be they were they were kind of away from me i don't think they understood that i was barking or maybe if they did they gave me the benefit of the doubt anyways <laughs> Fubas, thank you you mean him if you don't mind we should talk to him again Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? Okay. It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? Yes, the police. I'm aware I'm a policeman. I think I should just be honest. Yes, the police. I'm a policeman. Right. And the interviews? Yes, uh, the police. 
I'm aware a policeman. Right. And the interviews? What interviews? At the 57th, we like to prepare an initial list of persons of interest and then just skim the surface, prepare the field, get to know the players. You don't do that? Maybe it's not an inter-district practice. I haven't. Okay. We'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? What the fuck? Dead body? Mm -hmm. I don't like dead bodies. Sure. But did you take it down from the tree? Com... No. So, the body is still in the tree? Yes. This is the first time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's voice. <gasps> Panic! He would have preferred for the body to no longer be in the tree. <laughs> Where it has been hanging for seven days straight. What?! We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. But I can't remember anything. Maybe we should just get going. But I can't remember anything. I can see you drank last night and the night before. And that you are still drunk now. But I have seen officers go through worse. Much worse. Worse? If you need something for your headache, there is a general store nearby. But as I said, the dead body should be our number one concern. Okay, I need to marry this man. He feels so comforting. Like, I feel like it's gonna be fine. Let's get going, then. After you, officer. <gasps> if you're about to join my party on an investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? Wait, should I have a badge or something? You mean you don't have a badge? Uh... It wasn't on me when I woke up. Losing your identification card. Is a serious matter. No, you My guys. My vehicle has a short wave. You can use it to report your badge missing. Should I, I have? You should I not be honest? As quickly as possible, but getting the body down should still take precedence. Lieutenant Kitsuragi is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by interacting with him. God, the tutorial Asian sounds so fucking hot. Romanceable option. Okay. What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, I'm thinking. Oh. Oh! I need health. Okay, hold on. How do I use items? Panic? What's this? Menu has been wiped. Door is bolted. One thirty. Wait, the time passes? Wait, how does the time pass? It, when I move? What's this? In dialogues? Okay. When I talk, a man is sleeping on the table. Wearing mud-caked boots. On the counter, rolled out of his open hey, hand. Hey, You see a blister pack of headache medicine. I don't know the odds. Do we do it? Maybe we should ask. Who is... No. No, let's behave like human beings. Lieutenant, who is this? No idea. Looks like he works for Wild Pines, the logistics company who owns and operates the harbor. Why is he sleeping during the day? Possibly because there's a strike going on in the harbor. There's not much to do aside from drinking and sleeping. Oh. Pick the pills? The man does not mind. Magnesium! You probably need them more than he does. You've just picked up some magnesium. This item is stored in the bottom left corner of the screen above your character portrait. Use magnesium to heal your morale if you have morale damage. I wish this woman... Was the tutorial agent in my life? Do we wake him up? Or we do. You gently shake his <sighs> shoulder. But... Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Kim. 
Why you didn't get the tutorial agent? Are, are you jealous? Are you jealous you don't have a hot tutorial agent like I do? What's this? Okay, I have no fucking clue where to go. Oh, he said the tree. Fuck the police. Pigs go home. Oh, I think the people don't like we're here. I have that feeling. Oh, trash. Bottles? I could hang myself there. Wait, what? Um... This book has a rose, pistol, and a half-naked dame on its cover. Oh, I think. Muscular man. Oh, books! Pate? Takes willpower to even read the author's name, Jan Kaos. Okay. Uh, do you guys want to... Okay, do you... This game is total opposite to Baldur's Gate Divinity, is it though? Where do we go? Clip Oh. Oh, tank. I heal. We go? Oh, the lady in the wheelchair. I tried talking with her, but she told me to talk with my partner. Let's try talking with her. Hello, sweetie. Romance of option? Wait, who's sweetie? Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, this is so bad. Like, does he mean like that? Who is sweetie? Why, you are, officer. Oh. Hmm. Maybe I am? And have you found anyone to be sweet to? What am I reading? Tree? Two. I had once. But then I lost her? Two? You guys want to flirt with... I don't know. Maybe I have one. You rascal. <gasps> she liked for you. And two married besides. Ah, oh, it's okay. I'm not jealous. Your advances haven't thrown her off one bit. In another place and time. She would have probably welcomed your attention. Oh! You must forgive me. I'm getting so scatterbrained. I completely forgot to introduce myself. Oh my gosh. I'm Lena. My husband Morel and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street, but I come here for tea when they're away. Yeah? Uh, Mr. Smog, I tried to you use the Twitch integration for this game, but it's just not working. This Lena if you figure out how to make it work, I will use it. Hire her on the spot. Hire her? I mean, hire her. Oh, fuck. Those are all really bad. How do I like to... <sighs> Jesus Christ. How would you like to row with me? Whatever do you mean? Why not really? Oh, can you guys... I want you to be my wheelchair partner in fighting crime. Reading backwards of corpses, catching sequence killers. Sequence killers? Oh my. But I think you already have a partner, sweetie. A partner who needs you to help him get a corpse down from a tree. <laughs> Kim! My friend! Of course! I forgot I had you!
No, never mind. I know, I know. But there is also side mysteries, sequence killers, and forays into the paranormal. I can assure you with absolute certainty, there are no sequence killings taking place in Martinez. Now, gentlemen, no need to squabble. I wouldn't be of much use to you anyway, sweetie. Why? Three has are better than two? Thank you, but... Martinez isn't the most wheelchair-accessible place, you see. I'd slow you down. Oh. Perhaps another time. Oh, the time passed. Okay, leave. Of course, dear. Good luck with your case. Oh, I love her. Oh, she's so sweet. Ah. Oh. Okay, there is this thing here. She's... What? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Kids ladder, but still climbable. The ladder for kids that wouldn't hold the weight of a grown man. Are they growing drugs in there? Do I have a quest log? You know, the first quest in my quest log is sing the karaoke. Maybe I should put that first. What's this? There are several footprints in the mud left by work boots. Anywhere from six to twelve pairs have walked here. What kind of boots? Heavy workers' boots with reinforced toes and hobnails. All over the yard. Isn't this something an industrial worker would wear? The tenant. Workers boot tracks. Noted. Nice. Okay, let's go. Maybe Woo! more than twelve. A dive! No. Let's Eight go. Pairs of boots have shuffled back and forth in the mud. Okay, let's get over them one by one. One. Standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number 46. Two. Standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Well, what number, number is 54. this? Three. Hobnailed work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number 43. Four. Standard work boot. Number 45 or 46. Wait, which one is it? You don't know. It's a miracle you can tell the prints apart as it is. The cold must have preserved them. Five. Another standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number 44. Do I need to remember all this shit? Six. An aberration. Light as air. Even pace. Same make of boot, but number 41. Male or female? Impossible yes. to tell. Yes. Could also have been an adolescent. The gait is undeveloped. I feel like if I picked one, I would be distracting myself and and fucking this up. Hey, 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 how are you doing? Hey, and thank you so much. Okay, I'm pretty good at this, ain't I? You're not bad. It's as if the whole world darkens. Everything else has a thin film of unimportance on it. And the tracks burn in the middle of it. In a strange, beautiful way. Nice, thank you. Thank you, Kuja. Mm, thank you. Seven. The glowing outline of a standard work boot. Number 46. But the imprints are twice as deep as the others. The weight exceeds 200 kilograms. What? Is Robocop here? Eight. And yet another standard work boot. Number 44. There's an aberration in the pattern of the soul, however. 
The right soul is smoother, more worn. Okay, so somebody of a... Okay. How many? Eight? Eight. I was pretty off then. I can't hit 20. Oh, wow. I love how there's a random number in chat whenever I ask something. <laughs> nice, nice. I would just call you a platypus then. Um, some say the same guys are going back and forth. I never got the hang of it. Hyperopia. Do you see anything out of the ordinary? Uh, the light step number forty-one shoe. A woman or a kid? I don't think there's a way. Could it... Could be a woman? Okay. How do you know? I he knows it's hard to discern sex from a person's gait. I, I don't. Understood. Anything else? A heavy one. 200 kilogram. 200? Incre yes. Could it be the Robocop. combined weight of two people? No, it's Robocop. Kim, don't be stupid. Say, uh, heavily built uh, no! I mean, similarly built, soon to be dead. No, it's obviously Robocop. He might be right. We went, we went over this. Is unlikely. One of them was carrying him over. Fine, uh, whatever. Robocop is not Possibly. an option. Yes. But why? Why did they have to carry him? He was yes, dead. They could have used the makeshift stretcher or just march him up to the gallows. Who is this guy? Why is he dead? He has the same body shape as I do. Maybe the victim wasn't conscious? Even easier to carry on a stretcher or between two men. Anyway, it's for future consideration. What else can you see? One aberration, one soul is smoother than the other. Interesting. Let's name it the old soul. Any ideas? Someone operating a workbench with a pedal? Like a joiner at the harbor. Or yeah, we got this. Drummer? He regrets it the moment he says it. Ah. Oh. I think we just nod so he doesn't feel bad. Yeah? Yeah, we just nod. I don't know why I said that. We are not looking for a drummer. We are looking for a group of dock workers. Perhaps it could be a driver. A driver would wear out the right shoe before the left. The it makes sense. Anyway. Because he's like... I don't know why I did that. Anyways. We should keep our eyes open around the traffic jam. See whether anyone strikes out. <laughs> vroom, vroom. Seems prudent, no? Okay, yes. Wait. Yes, prudent. Yes. Mm -hmm. How old do you think those tracks are? A week, maybe? Seven days would fit the time frame provided to us by the caller, who reported the hanging. It is not impossible. Okay. I pulled last week's forecast for coastal Havashol. Seven days below freezing. The day before, the day of his hanging, was the last one day. Oh, so it got cold! Correct again. Sub-zero temperatures would preserve the tracks in a good state. What the commotion you... here could have taken place a week ago. What do you think happened here? What do I think? A mob of people brought something heavy to the tree. Tracks One of don't them last was seven days? The they shuffle around, especially under the tree. Really? Then, after hoisting him up, they stood in a semicircle facing his direction. At first glance, this appears to be a lynching. Indeed, they all stood in a row here and looked at the tree. Yes, everything fits so well. Carried him over, hoisted him up, watched him hang. This is easy. Isn't it strange to have your assumptions confirmed like this? 
This is what someone whispering suggestions in your ear would like you to feel. I think one. I think one. Because overconfidence is a slow and sages killer. We should withhold being content. The lieutenant is saying something, but you can't hear it. Suddenly, it seems like your tie is alive again. Whispering. What? No, screaming into your ear. What? What? Withhold being content? What are you? Mild to moderately disabled? That doesn't feel like something you should do. What? Is my tie disagreeing with me? Live a little. Everything on the damn crime scene fits like a glove. You should get shit based on this damn crime scene. Fuck. You really jump. Great game you hide. Is like that with every tie? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Frankston, thank you so much for the two months of support. Thank you. Francois, thank you. Thank you so much for the prime. Thank you. I, I'm between... I'm between one and three. Why do you think we men wear ties? Oh shit, I need to get myself a tie so I have somebody to talk to in my head. Frankois, thank you. One. I like how vivid my interior is, but... Could we maybe do something that doesn't involve getting drunk? <laughs> he wants to have fun without alcohol. That won't be fun. That'll be boring and sad. Did he call me bad things in Italian? Um, detective? Uh... An experience, a mild malfunction, Lieutenant. Something to do with my tie. It will pass. Can you hold on for a moment? Are you guys sure for one? No, one is is a bad idea, you guys. Guys, one is a really bad idea. Are you sure? Oh fuck! No, no, no. But 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 the second one, at least, I'm 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 recognizing that there is a problem. Okay. The first one, I'm getting the problem take control over me. I'm losing control. Okay? Yes, I'm a superstar, but, but, but this time we're gonna go with two. It will pass. Can you hold on for a moment? The lieutenant looks at you curiously. A beat passes in silence. The wind blowing. Why is it solving it? Squeaking. The lieutenant doesn't understand what's happening right now. You're twisting at your tie, looking sweaty even by your standards. He needs to say something. Oh my god. I agree. <clears throat> Our assumptions could be wrong. Better not to have them confirmed just yet. Do you see oh! Anything? Okay, we've been through all of it. Okay, we survived the, the necktie. Have five! Yeah, okay. Kuno's got this. If there ever was such a thing as an ugly kid, then this is it. He's almost exquisite in his ugliness, <gasps> like a gremlin. <laughs> oh yeah, not a comfy Kuno. <gasps> I'm really tempted to press three. 
I'm really tempted to pass three. <laughs> Can I just do it? Jesus. Okay, hear me out. If I press one, I'll come off as an ass. If I press two, he will. N those kids will never respect me. Implying they will ever respect it. Okay. Hey, kid, a word. Okay, let me ask you. If we press three, can we come back later? With more options than one and two. I hate him. I hate his face. I hate his animation. I hate his dirty nose. Hey, kid, a word, police business. Right in the dick, Kuno. Love it in the dick. The boy is sweating profusely. His eyes are like two black holes and his jaw is twitching as if trying to break free from the empire of his body. Hold on, what does that mean? The kid find is face, obviously find high. Your face, find your face, find your face. Okay, that's that's something I actually never imagined. A high kid? Frank always, thank you so much for your cheer one sub. Mwah, thank you, thank you. Thank you for converting your prime that you just gave me to cheer one. That's so kind of you. Mwah. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Those are so bad, I should have left. I think one because we passed the 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 thing. Because otherwise we wouldn't know. We 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 we, we, pa we succeeded a perception check. So we wouldn't know that he was high. So I think one is better to use because it took a perception check. So beast, mwah, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stop getting high at my crime scene. Fuck that! Kuno, yeah! Right in the mouth, though! They pay you no heed or pretend not to notice you. Shit himself. The rake, Kuno! You should throw the rake at him, Kuno! The fuck? Does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno is not a gardener. Oh my god. Oh. <sighs> okay, hold on. Hold on. Maybe I should discuss with Kim. Okay? I think three is a bad idea. Maybe we'll get the... Sir Auron, you don't know that. 
I'm a competent cop. I am so competent. I even have a cop hat. Wait, a cowboy hat. It's okay, it works for now. Hold on. I honestly don't fucking know. Kim, what the fuck should we do? We shouldn't do anything. I don't tempt such forces. What does he mean? What forces? You will see. The language these kids are using. Pure, unfettered id. There will be no reasoning with those creatures. Maybe we should do four. No, five. Maybe we should do five. Come back later. What do you guys think? Guess who? I I tried to do the thing, but I I know, but but maybe if we buy those kids some drugs, we can give them some drugs, and they will cooperate in talking with us. Can we buy drugs? Where? I I'm honest. Can we do that? No. I mean. No, no, I, I wouldn't sell them the drugs. I would just give them so they like me. Just for a few questions. I haven't you went and you should decide this. Okay, maybe I should steal some drugs then. Okay, okay. What would this piece of shit like? Okay? I don't know. I haven't been a dumb kid in such a long time. I don't know. No, no FBI's. Help. Okay. Uh. Fuck. Hmm. But again, the rhetoric is telling us. We can't reason with them. You know what? Fuck this. Fuck the world. Fuck everything. Do I do it? Do I do a tree? Do I do a tree? Oh. Hey, kid! When I hang out, I'm not an ARC. Hashtag not an ARC. Fuck no! Kuno doesn't buy that shit! Fucking entrapment shit! Uh, uh, okay, so some people are sending me the Twitch extension. The Twitch extension uh, does not give an uh, authentication code so I can connect the extension to the game. Uh, I, I tried to get it to work and I just couldn't. Are you kids siblings? The fuck are you talking about? He's calling us f***ers, Kuno. He says we're fucking each other. No! I ask you if you're siblings! Brother and sister! Brothers and sister don't fuck! Look, I have questions for you! Alright, entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What How do you mean, got? really, me Reaper? Is this kid. How do you mean, really? If you're fucking your siblings, you're fucked up! Literally. In... Let me... 
I gotta ask, who is Kuno? Kuno's Kuno Pig? It's you always Kuno, yeah. never I. Clearly, the kid's Alana. using the third person perspective like as a shield. XD. Oh, yeah, this game's like Baldur's Gate 3. Except instead of having hot companions, you have annoying children that are making your day worse. Okay. Thank you, Alecrim. For four months. Thank you. Kim is a hot companion? Sure. Interesting. You refer to yourself in the third person to distance yourself from the situation, bitch. Kuno doesn't do that smart shit. Don't throw that fuck shit at Kuno. Kuno knows you're lying. How would you kill him? Trying to get Kuno hooked on the book. The boy knows he has an addictive personality. Admirable insight for his age. Watch out, Kuno! He's trying to fiddle you! He's gonna put his hands on you! No! What the fuck? Help! Pig's got Kuno! Help! Ray! Okay! Okay! Hold on! I should have fucking left! No, I... D help! He's got the Kuno, help! Okay! Uh... No, no, if I leave... It's like they were right. I can't leave. I cannot leave. If I leave, it's bad. Now that we're in this, we're gonna double down! Just answer the fucking questions. Help! He's digging his dick out! Fuck. Escalate, Kuno! His dick is out! You're afraid! Oh, Jesus Christ! Pigs in there, Kuno! Somebody, please! Oh. How did we get You're here? Yeah. How did this happen? This makes no sense. There may still be a way out. Just Panic. appeal to his reason. Panic! 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 I don't even have a dick to have it out! Okay, Primus, thank you so much for the two months! Thank you! Guys! Guys, guys, guys. <laughs> okay, don't get me wrong. I really want to. Wait, don't we have two dice? Don't, don't we have two D6 to roll? We would need to roll a, cr a, a six. On both dice! That's like a double 20! I'm not rolling that! That's like a not 20! But harder! We succeeded. We succeeded. The logic. Okay? Jesus Christ, you guys are tempting me. You guys are like the devil on my fucking shoulder. And you know what's worse? On the other side, I had another fucking devil that's my mind. Fuck you for making it so hard for me. Fuck. We can't see the percentage. I either click or not click. Can I save five for later? Jesus Christ, I really want to kick him. I really want to kick him. But I shouldn't. I shouldn't. 
Jesus Christ! Guys, this is really bad because he's already calling the people. People are looking and then I'm just beating up the kid. Guys, this is fucked up! It's not about getting away with it, it's about... <laughs> if you don't click five, could I... Yeah, what if I click five and I fail the roll and then... <laughs> what the fuck will happen? I don't know, you guys. I really want to click five, but, 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 but my conscience is like, no, don't. You should do one. You should do one because you fail, you, you succeed at the logic text, and, and, and I need to talk with him, and, 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 but, 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 like, my heart is like five, five, five. My head, one, one, one. I'm like Victorian part. I don't fucking know, okay? I don't, maybe we should just close this fucking game and go play some Baldur's Gate, okay? This is too fucking hard. This is too hard! Mizukuru, thank you so much for the two months. Thank you. Thank you. It's just a dialogue. I can just click it. Why is it so hard for me? I can't save. I can't reload. It's either do or die. This is like honor mode. Fargus, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Think. Okay. Okay. I can't think because I'm in panic. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Can we save the punch for later? Is that an option? So it's either do or... Okay. We will not succeed punching this kid. But what if we do? We need to roll a crit. Then we are child abusers? Yes, when somebody's rude to me? Okay. Punching a kid is wrong. Yeah, I feel like we would be falling down to his fucking level. We would be lowering ourselves. We can't do it. Oh, but I really want you. Oh, God. I have this, this torment inside my heart. Like, yes. The, the, the. Yeah. I'm punching him. Fuck. 
What have I done? Oh! You didn't shut him down. Your fat fist didn't meet its target. Instead, it pulled you down with it. Ouch! My arm and my fucking knee! Kuno can't believe this shit! <laughs> Can no one stop the Kuno? Pig! Kuno thought you had this! What happened? Kuno can't do anything now! The whole charade was about to establish a dominance over you. It's safe to say he has succeeded. You know what? Everyone who told me to punch Kuno, you're a bunch of bitches. And I shouldn't have listened to you. Fucked your shoulder, fucked your knee, fucked your fat body up. Yep. I deserve this. Yeah, you deserve this. Trying to show your dick to Kuno. Kuno was scared. Oh God, do something quick. They're gonna start that again. Panic. 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 You guys wanna double down and threaten the kid? I think I really hurt myself. <laughs> Officer, you need to get up. This is turning into a farce. That's what you get if you fuck with the Kuno. You get fucked up. <laughs> yeah, let it up. Let's just get back to it. Kuno beat the shit out of the popo. <laughs> Beat your fucking knee off! I told you not to tempt such forces. God! Now, how about we go and do something worth the public's time? Can I restart the game? Can I try again? Please. Look, see? It's the fucking war pig! Try not to knock yourself out. I've come to ask questions. I still have a case to solve. You belittled yourself before the Kuno. Now you must seek his forgiveness. <sighs> Look, I want to make this right with Kuno. Make amends. Um, fucking what pig? Amends, Kuno. I was wrong to try to hit you. I am sorry. Yeah! How are we gonna make it up to Kuno, pig shit? A material offering is implied. He wants stuff. Only stuff can make it okay again. I don't have anything. What can I offer you, Kuno? Please, don't waste time on nonsense. The lieutenant does not approve of this at all. Don't Neither does chat. Fuck, piggo. You're doing the right thing here. Trying to get Kuno to like you again. Oh, fuck. You can pay tribute to Kuno with drugs. Or cigarettes. Or some wheels. Kuno could use some wheels. Motorized car. He wants a fucking car and drugs. <laughs> Whatever, then.
What are you doing? I don't know, Kim. I don't know. My life is a fucking disaster and it's just getting worse. I need to make truce with Kuno. Offer him something. No, you really, really don't. That is a 12-year-old boy. His opinion of you doesn't matter. <laughs> hey. You don't fucking matter, book him! I'm still going to mark it down as something I need to do. But... but why? You're turning this into a huge thing. <laughs> okay! Uh, I have some good options here. What the fuck do I fucking do? Ay, ay, ay. I think too. Because... I think too, I do not put Kim down. And it's the truth. Why not? In punching someone, I always end up being someone's bitch. Don't you know anything about male power structures, Kim? Wrong. You're totally unraveling, officer. Jesus Christ. Don't worry, Lieutenant. I got this. Now let's go. Okay, where can I buy a cigarette for this kid? <laughs> I should have done what I thought it was right. I shouldn't have listened to you guys. Oh, I'm so fucking stupid. <laughs> I, I don't even want to romance this woman. Welcome to Crime, Romance, and Biographies of Famous People. My name is Plaisance. Be welcome, and please take responsibility for the energy you bring into this space. What? So you're the owner of the store? I am. The proudest owner of our little shop of culture. Oh, Jesus Christ. Follow where for now, book peddler. Oh, Jesus. No, no, no. Okay. Hi, kid. Hello, sir. Step right in. The store is open. What's the difference between... I, I actually see the difference between one and three. <laughs> Two? Okay, how about now? From now on, if you guys pick an option, I'm not picking that one. That one is excluded from the options I will pick. Hi. Are you interested in a new and exciting book? <laughs> uh, what kind? What kind of store? Is this anyway? It's a bookstore, sir. We sell books, postcards, and some board games. It's called Crime, Romance, and Biographies of Famous People. I. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hold your horses, little girl. Jesus Christ. 
I failed? I don't know what a fucking buck is. Am I stupid? I mean, I punched the kid. What is a book? That is a book. They have stories inside them. It's like someone told you a story in a really long letter. What's a postcard? A postcard is a small cardboard picture. You can write a few words on the other side and send it to your friend or beloved. She is unfazed by your questions. She would consider it impolite to point out any perceived weirdness. Interesting, thanks. My pleasure. Anything else you'd like to know? She's so nice. I, this kid is the best kid. This kid is the complete opposite of Kuno. Is it okay if I ask you some questions? Okay, sir. I'll try to answer any questions you have. I hope they're about books. I'll punch you! Bah! Um... What is your name? My name is Annette, sir. My mum, her name is Plaisance. She owns the store. She's inside, minding the register, or organizing the stock. Feel free to step in and browse our wares. And you're standing out here in the code because? I'm signaling that the store is open. Otherwise, people might not know. They'd miss out on the crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. A sudden gush of wind turns the pages of the books on the counters. She covers her face, <gasps> smiling. But she's cold. You're cold. Can I help in some way? Kind of you to offer, sir. Oh. What could you do to help? Oh, she's so sweet. Ah. Uh. What is number number three? Wait, what? Should I have a word with the store owner? Maybe? Oh no, no sir. I'm happy to help mum by luring in customers. Besides, I have some hot juice in my vacuum bottle to keep warm. Shouldn't you be at school or something? I do my studies at home at the moment. I have to help mum keep this place running. Isn't going to school more important than this? Mum says it's necessary to do both because it builds character. Mum says a proper worker is dutiful. That's how you get ahead in life. You succeed. How's business going? Mum says it's peachy. She was oh a little boy. afraid at first. There's talk about this house being cursed. What? Behind her, the window has been boarded up. You sense the boards creaking, twisting for a second, and some kind of doubt in her tense shoulders. Cursed? In what way? Cursed in the way that makes them say that no business has ever really thrived here, sir. That they all go... Let's not say the word. Let's have some empathy. Guys, it's a sweet child, okay? If it was Kuno, I would totally and completely say ass up, okay? But but I feel like we need to, to vibe with the sweet girl, okay? Just, 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 just say nothing. Well, they run out of money and have to stop doing business. Okay. This sounds rather serious. I should probably look into this. Hmm. We can go into the bookstore and ask about the case. But I don't see much more to look into here. Okay, he doesn't believe in curses. Yes, please do look at our wares inside. The postcards and board games you asked about are also there, sir. How does this curse... What do you know about the other failed business? Nothing really, sir. Mum doesn't allow me to sneak around. And but this how the AI wins bullshit. I don't really know what's there. Okay, back rooms or cellar. Okay. How does the curse manifest itself? It does not manifest itself Kim? in any way. It does not exist. I liked it better when we were talking about whether it's appropriate to stand out in the freezing weather. <laughs> okay.
I feel like this game locks you in a corner and then you're stuck. And then you're like a little bitch crying in a corner not knowing what to fucking do. But Kim, the plasmic manifestations! No such thing. Uh, anything else you wanted to talk about, sir? Hmm, enough about the curse Maybe now. I can tell you about some of our books instead. It's okay, see you, see you. Okay, let's, let's beat her mom. And make sure we take her jacket. Hello again, esteemed officer. And welcome to crime, you romance... Really and yeah, biographies of famous people. I need to punch this woman. Love this game. Captain, it's thank fun. you so much for the two months. Mwah, thank you. Uh, your daughter is the one standing outside this door, right? Wait, hold on. Let me think this up. Tree sounds very... She's gonna raise her defenses. Scream at me and tell me to, to piss off. If maybe I help them with the curse first, then maybe she will take kinder to tree. The girl said mentioned that the place is cursed. Cursed? Who said that? Annette? I will have a word. Thank you for her. the hundred videos. This mm. place is not cursed. It has a Oh no, I fucked up. Magnetic energy. Good for commercial activity. My business is thriving, sir. Jesus Christ. What in God's name is she talking about? Is she... What if I want to buy a book? Then why are you talking to me? Everything is on the shelves to browse. Don't you feel compelled to buy anything? I hate See this woman. Shelves there? Go. Be drawn. No, if I leave the conversation, she's gonna win. I'm not letting another dumbass NPC win. So what types of book do you have? Do you know them? Everything is on the shelves. Take a look yourself. The shelves compel you, don't they? I never hated those shelves more than anything. She smiles and nods, seemingly relieved. No, we are gonna, we are gonna, we are gonna do the right thing and look. A small mountain of colorful board game boxes. There are numerous types of games for all ages. A lot of shelf space seems I'm not to be taken up We're our related merchandise. Okay. What board games do you have here? Wonderful board games, sir. The Viticulturist is a classic for sure. Or perhaps you'd like Archipelagos of Insulinda. A very educational game for those interested in geography. Browbritta is a fun game of economic competition, but can get quite intense after a while. We have games for the whole family. You can play with your children. <laughs> Who are you going to play Imagine with? us with children! Do you have friends or family? Do I have friends? Are you actually friends? Or just colleagues thrown together by circumstance? Again, the game put me in a corner and I'm fucked. I can either be delusional, I can be a loser, or I can be realistic. I feel as if I don't have any kids. Friends are technically like family. For playing with friends, I'd recommend Suzerainty. It's a civilization building game where you build a civilization, <gasps> then set off to brutally colonize and repress other civilizations. It'll cost 12 real. Holy fuck, the way she phrased that. The display rack is brimming with worn paperbacks featuring an extremely muscular, sword wielding barbarian on the cover. Nearly all the titles can be <laughs> Hyundai somewhere. Sir, keep telling me about the Moscow Man books. Oh, Man from Hyeondol. A very popular series of adventure novels. 
They're awfully immoral and violent books. This bitch has no fun! Why are they so popular? Blood and violence, scantily clad women, epic narratives, all those mystical things he encounters. They're bound to grab those with little imagination and nothing to do. Bitch! Please! This is literally Baldur's Gate 3 and I love it! Sounds good. Which one should I start with? What does it matter? They're all the same. However, the customer is always right, they say. If you're a novice of the series, I'd recommend Hjelmdalaman, the man from Hjelmdal. It's supposed to be a good introduction to the series. Yeah, I don't have money. Okay, is there a bank so we can rob? Can we rob a bank? Okay, hold on. Load sports. Can I go upstairs? Oh, you guys see that door? Okay, hold on. Can I rob some magazines? This bookstore is not strictly about crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. There's also a wide range of paranatural literature. Amidst the various books, you find one written by someone named Matthias W. Dundas. It's about wholeness, unity, balance. Is that a real name? These three things are very important to the working class mind. The point of the book, and many others on this shelf, is to give people medicinal advice in situations where they don't have access to paid health services. How does that work? It serves platitudes, while also telling everyone that traditional medicine, the kind people don't have access to, and which costs more than this book, is garbage and would only give you cancer anyway, without even curing your cold or anything. Panic? Wholeness, unity, balance, on the other hand, can basically take care of anything. Though it is important to note, when it's up to your mind to heal yourself, then it's because of your mind that you're ill in the first place. Okay, does the book say anything else? The book features chapters on topics such as how to find magnesium. It even lists plants you can harvest magnesium from. How to continue drinking if you're an alcoholic who has destroyed his liver. And... This is what, self and help book? There's even a chapter on the ancient Serais tradition of using duck gall bladder preservatives to treat and prevent sexually transmitted diseases. Pre and post factum apply. Nothing worth buying. This is just mundane garbage. What's even paranatural about this? Oh, fuck. Do we three? I think we have to. Mmm. Let's go. Let's fucking go. The throw yes! in your head increases. Oh! Why did I roll like this when I was talking to fucking Kuno? Suddenly, as if out of nowhere, a small green book becomes apparent. Natural the title 12. of it reads, Medicinal Purposes of the Pale. What's the pale? The book contains very little explanation on the matter. Okay, hold this on. This knowledge seems to be taken for granted. What's this book about? The book contains descriptions of various pseudo-scientific therapies, alternative medicines, and folk remedies involving the pale also known as Le Territoire. For example, it recommends vigorously swatting one's naked body with a venic or hand broom, made from the leafy twigs of a young birch tree from the near pearl. One or two? Sounds invigorating. It is, and good for the circulation too. What else? It also recommends consuming distilled spirits like vodka or whiskey that have been aged in the pail. Readers are instructed to cover these jars in a shallow hole just inside the pail and leave them there for 30 to 60 days, depending on the potency desired. And then what does this pale aged liquor do? Among other benefits, it is alleged to restore a damaged liver to perfect health. Huh? That seems 
improbable. How is that possible? Is it any more improbable than anything else that human beings put their faith in? Fair enough. What else is in there? For general health and well-being, readers are encouraged to take regular strolls through the PAL. Though a sidebar cautions readers to limit each stroll yeah, to it didn't less than an hour. These strolls promise to cleanse the mind of worries and the body of toxins. Is the game telling me to go for a walk? The performs this ritual in the nude. Nudity figures prominently in a number of these prescriptions. Okay, it's telling me to go for a walk while naked. Okay. Okay. That's... There is not a lot of room to walk. Can't you? This is exactly what you need. Yeah. Huh. Anything else? There's an entire section devoted to cures for men who are struggling to perform their marital obligations. Oh, what? Wait, we're having erection problems now? I probably... Need a... Excuse me, sir. I believe you've been perusing that particular volume long enough. If you'd like to continue reading, I must insist you buy it. Bitch! Fuck! God! Several maps have been attached to a bulletin board hidden inside. The maps look old and faded. Your eye catches a map of Insulinda, a map of Revachol, Wait. a map of Martinez. Didn't, 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 didn't he mention Revachol? Maybe it's a real place. The north coast of a virgin For 20, island I don't is have money. by the delta of a river. It is the river Esperance. There goes our marriage. Countless bridges put the shards back together, connecting city blocks to river islands. La Delta says a great artificial heart in the center, teeming with life forms and construction. To the east, rolling hillsides, Le Jardin, Stella Marie, the suburbs of Saint Baptiste, swallowed up into the mega city. They sound rich to you. This is Rivershall East. Okay, and the west of the river. Hudon, is this information important to my character? Bad. Then there's Jamrock. It's bad. People shouldn't live there, but they do. Then Forberg. Oh. It's almost as bad and much larger. Then Coal City. It's the worst. But let's say, will my character remember any of this shit? You feel you're just west of Coal City. Oh! Somewhere above Jamrock and close to Coal City. Okay, yes? Fuck. There is a yes and no's in chat. I, I don't know why I even bother asking. It's like you guys are in my head. These shelves are overburdened with books. Okay, you know what? Let's go down here. You see a set of tattered curtains blocking the way to another room. A strange cage-like trinket dangles from the curtains. Let's go. Excuse me, officer. The back room is strictly for employees only. No, 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 no. Let's examine this strange cage-like trinket. You see some kind of charm. An irregular ha. assembled from bones. By map? Which and map? Straw. Inside, okay. a disturbing fish head with empty eye sockets stares at you. Oh, this God. is a traditional Seminese ward, meant to provide protection against ill luck, bad dreams, curses, and okay. other supernatural scourges. Okay. Inhabitants of Ile de Fantôme, the Seminine Islands down south. Aside from poking at it suspiciously, there is nothing else to do with the fish head charm at this time. The curtains remain shut before you. Okay. Do we tree? Okay, hold on. Ignore for now. Let's get a map. 
Map? Was map here? Shelves filled to the brim. No crime? Map. Map is here. Several maps have been. The maps look old and faded. Turkey, the can I break these map maps? I'm sorry, officer. The map of Martinez is the only one available. The other two are not for sale anymore. And besides, you could scarcely afford them. They're quite valuable, though they might not look it. The map of Martinez is 90 cents, though. Okay, can I buy that? No. Why is the Martinez so cheap? That old thing. It's an out-of-date map of a tourist location that never was nor came to be. From when some design studio people tried to spruce the place up four or five years ago, they also renovated the horse statue, set up those coin-operated viewers, and designed the new street lamps. The place does not look like a successful tourist trap, does it? What happened? They didn't get that far, for some reason. Jesus shame, Christ. Never got going. Okay, okay. Nice someone fixed Martinez up. All these ruins are bad for business. Damn it. Maybe I should have started as a thief. How the fuck? Oh, ba ba ba. I was thinking. F what? Okay, hold on. Can I pickpocket? Hold on. I might need to. Hold on. How do I make money? Can I... Uh... No, I have 60 cents. Shit. What's this? Money? This coin-operated viewer is facing southwest. Its coin slot is full of fossilized bubblegum. Rendering the machine permanently inaccessible. Oh, the poor little viewer. The metal feels cold and wet under your palm. It looks unhygienic. Ugh. Vandalism. Probably some kids. Go no? A thick layer of graffito covers the lenses. You spell out the word Onuk written on the other side, with N and C scribbled backwards. Kuno? That's Kuno on the lens. <laughs> Under the graffito, a sea of blues and greys appear. Fuck you, Animus! a coast studded with concrete and reeds. On it, a church on stilts. Lanky weather-worn wooden planks. An X-shaped cross topping its tower. You know this to be the star of Perikonassus or the Cairo, the central symbol of the Perikonassian church, a star, a great moral height ah. to be strived towards. Okay. The church looks old and weather-worn. There are no lights in the windows. Okay. Collect those bottles and sell them! Huh? How do I do that? How? How? Why is it not picking? No, 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 it's okay. I, I, I got this. This is fine. Bird? It's a lonely bird. Okay, okay. Wait. Did I see a plastic bag? Oh. Hold on. Maybe I've seen one. What's this? What's this? Okay, this is fine. Yeah. Wow, I'm poor. I'm zoomed in because I was trying to look at the librarian's boobs. Uh, hold on. A striking woman leans against the cabin top. Hot? Of a sailing boat, smiling as you approach. Her green raincoat glistens with droplets. 
Remembrable option? Tied around her throat. Good morning, officers. I'm Joyce. Joyce L. Messier. I represent the board of Wild Pines, the owners of the harbor. You gentlemen must be from the RCM. And it's son, how do you think Harry is? Harry? Chicken disco? I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Can I ask her for money? I'll shake her hand. I was dispatched Ooh. to handle a strike, not a lynching. Anything I can do to assist the RCM in this matter, I will, gladly. That is good to hear, madame. My colleague will take the lead on She the sounds interview. evil. I should let you know that he is recovering from an unusual medical episode. Very unusual. But I can assure you of his ultimate competency. Oh God. There's a trace of irony in his voice. Mischief even. Kim. The lieutenant is hatching some scheme. What the fuck? How interesting. I wish you a swift recovery. In the meanwhile, you have my full cooperation and the full cooperation of the Wild Pines group. People who want sail boats are almost always evil. Like, what the fuck would you do with a boat? You're in a boat. Why, yes, I am. There are not a lot of people on boats, are there? Of course there are. We're on an archipelago. How oh. else are you supposed to get around? Okay. I... Wait, we're on an archipelago? Yes, we are. We are on Le Caillou. I'm stupid. Understood. She nods attentively. Can I flirt with her? Does she have a license for this bar? Do you have a name? The boat? No. It is called Cordelati 19 because that's Color the of milk. Of it is. Color of milk. It's white. The word it feels strange. Such a beautiful boat deserves a proper name. Cool, but your boat really needs a name. Okay. How about Cordelati 19? No. Why? Because it was manufactured in Revishal East by a company called Cordelechi, and its hull is 19 paces long. She makes a point of being unromantic about it. What name? Sleek Fish? Or Dolores? I think Dolores is good, because usually they, they give uh, boats... How about Dolores? Why Dolores? I don't know, it feels pretty. Hmm. Well, it means nothing to me. I think I'll stick with the factory name. But thank you for the suggestion. Oh. Okay, but what kind of boat is it's it? It's a pleasure craft. A 19 pacer. It also happens to be... I know, you can trust a person who doesn't pacer. name their boat. Though I, these days, I mainly use it for No, because I'm a pirate. On my free time. I'm not. I... I I'm kind of scared of boats. My sloop? I like it a lot. It's the eel's hips, baby. I'm enjoying this part of the interview. It has so little to do with the murder we're investigating. <gasps> Fuck! I forgot we were investigating a murder. I Martha. really do, the lieutenant thinks. Is she thrown off yet? He's yes. looking at the woman. Oh gosh. Her. Oh god. Do you have a license for this boat? Officer, I assure you I'm a highly qualified pleasure craft operator. Oh boy. The crowns of her teeth are porcelain, white as the boat's hull as she smiles. Okay, she brushes her teeth. Her nonchalance might be related to something called the Wayfarer Act. A law that says she doesn't need a license. Sly Fox. 
You're not aggressive enough to harass her further on this. Damn it, how do I become more aggressive? I even punched a kid! Good. Okay, let's of leave. Course, detective. Hold on. I need to I need to find cigarettes for to give it to Kuno, and I need to find a plastic bag. Hey, up here, pick up. Excuse the me? The will flow red once more. A great Cora, did I ask you? Down Rue de Esperance. You wait and see. The streets will not flow red with anything. Who are you? I'm Cindy the fucking Skull. What else do you want to know? Date of birth, blood type, the last time I was tested for Hep C. I mean, yep. When was the last time? No, 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 no. Control yourself. Control yourself. Control yourself. She's defensive. We need to get her defenses down. Uh. No. We just want to know your name, little lady. No need. Oh, but she will find this. Okay, so this. I'm fucked. I, I cannot patronize her. Scream at her. Be creepy. I think first, but yep. When we, were you last tested? Had a battery of tests just last week. Why? I'm practically a patchwork of interesting critters. Kind of like a man of war. A brush? An artist? Oh. The red splatter is urban expressionism. Uh... Okay. Uh, you keep looking off to the side. No, 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 no. Wait. You keep uh, looking to the side. Where are you looking at? The lieutenant is desperately searching for another handkerchief. What? Hatred, disgust. It's difficult to tell which of the two is more present in her girlish features. Why did the camera come here? The woman on the boat does not notice her staring. Oh, she's a staring at the woman! That is on her. Someone's got to keep you an really eye on her. Job. Are you serious, Pixie? Mandrake, thank you. Thank you for the two months of support. Thank you. Let's Osman go. Osman is an archipelago, two days travel away from Rivershore. Its moneyed residents used to posh restaurants and upscale boutiques rarely have reason to visit Martinez. You mean Joyce? On a first name basis with her, are Thank we? Thank you, Amanda. Oh Take God, she's jealous. The world. Shit. Oh my goodness. Ah, thank you, thank you, dear tracker. Thank you, thank you. May the bunnies be with you. Thank you for being so kind. Thank you, tree. But I like her! Manipulation? Manipulating her? <sighs> Why all the negativity? Have you got a crush on her? I mean, Is maybe. For an opportunity to defend her honor. I fucked up. I fucked up. Okay. Watch your back, Ungulate. You've got eyes on you. Okay, hold on. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? Can you give me money? What can you tell me about this lynching? Quite a few things, I'm afraid. Oh! The information I'm to share with you includes sensitive trade secrets. For the sake of my employer, I have to ask for your names and badge numbers. Of course, ma'am. We should have introduced ourselves. I am Lieutenant Kitsuragi from Precinct 57. 
And this is my colleague from Precinct 41. I'm afraid he doesn't have his badge at the moment. I hope mine will suffice. How curious. Why is that, Detective? Awkwardness washes over the conversation. The woman doesn't like this turn of events. Remember when my partner told you I suffered from an unusual magical episode? I lost my badge is related to it. I see. Oh god. So, are you saying you lost your badge during the course of this episode? Panic. Oh no, 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 no. So squeaky. Oh no, no, no. Tree! Do we agree with Tree? Sandy, thank you so much for gifting us up to Charlie. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, yeah. Yes. Maybe I should do one. Because it's honest. Oh, fancy. So squeaky. Or maybe two. Two is also... Yeah. Ow, 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 ow. Thank you so much for gifting us up to Astrid. Mwah, thank you, thank you. Too honest? I think we'll go with two. I could have eaten it for all. No, I don't remember anything. This world, this city, nothing. Oh, dear. Yep. Some kind of encephalopathic amnesia. <laughs> yep. I don't even know how to respond. I am so happy you are playing this less than three. Hey, hey, Kilox, hey, hey. I do I'm loving you. it. Nice I knew I would love sound. it. I simply can't imagine what you gain by faking such a condition. I mean, it's true. As I said, ma'am, his technique may be very unconventional, but he is an officer of the RCM. Of course, I sympathize, but I'm afraid I simply can't share anything more until I've seen that badge. Panic! Hang on. She's a professional negotiator. She should be open to some sort of mutually beneficial arrangement. Oh! Oh! Okay, hold on. Hold on. Sex? We both have pleasure. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, you. No, you. Hold on. Uh. How do you mean, Chris? We are drunk. We lost our memory. This is the hottest woman we talked to. And probably the only one that didn't smell like crack or piss or both. So, so. Why did your head go there? Okay, what kind of arrangement would it be? I mean, favors for favors. A dirty alliance of some sort. Huh? Consider this. Perhaps she has been planning it all along. That you convince yourself into colluding with her. What? I don't know what are our odds. What do you guys think? Do, do we risk? How do I negotiate my way out of it? Easy. Yeah! Just offer a favor. Like I said, nice and dirty. Surely there is some other way to demonstrate our law enforcement credentials. I will be frank with you. If I'm going to break protocol, I need to be able to justify it to my superiors. They're going to want to see something very tangible. My big dick. You're in, but expect her to drive a hard bargain. Oh, yes, it's gonna be real hard. Like what? Reports from inside Terminal B suggest it's a hub for the local drug trade. This is an open secret in Marseille. What? The Union controls the terminal, so it goes to reason. Okay, that's not what I was thinking. The company has tried looking into this matter before, to no avail. Perhaps someone with your authority and resources might turn over the right stones. Fuck! Or 
You can recover your badge. Though, if I may be blunt with you, it sounds like that may be a lost cause. Oh, fuck. Detective, a word in private before we continue. Excuse us for a moment, madame. Okay, Kim, what's up? This is not going quite as I hoped it would, detective. Mitchell, I was hoping for a threesome for us, Kim. But how did you hope it would go? Honestly, I was expecting you to use your unorthodox technique to keep her off balance. And you know, not volunteers to be her henchmen. Oh. Really? I thought it was going so well. This woman is running circles around us. She might have known about your misplaced badge all along. Or she's simply an adept improviser. Either way, Panica. we've played straight into her hands. Panica. He doesn't let it show. But there is a limit to how much the consequences of your unprofessional behavior can cost the investigation. Oh! My God. Holy fuck. Am I actually... F I'm sorry for putting us in this situation. Four? We could just, you know, find my badge. Oh, that would be fantastic, but do we have the time? The world is large and your badge is eight by six centimeters. <laughs> he has a good point. The situation might have changed drastically by the time you locate it. Oh. Time is of the essence. Okay, hold on. You could request a new one from your station, but that would literally take months. Panic. I'm sorry for putting us in this situation. I'll handle it. It would not hurt if you tried more in the future, yes. <laughs> He's telling me that my past is not enough. <laughs> Her proposal was likely part of her design, this all is. Yes. Knowing this does not really change our position, however. What do we propose we don't investigate that drug trafficking? No. If there is reasonable suspicion, we must investigate. Otherwise, Aye. she could claim we are siding with the Union. Or that we are on their take. Oh, We'd panic. The end of it. What I propose is, we ask her, then we investigate. Briefly. But do not share the outcome of this investigation with her. Okay. Tell her it's done and demand for her information on the lynching. Okay. Okay, let's go, let's go. This man is fucking smart. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? I'm scared to talk to a woman. Can I just come back later? Tell me about Wild Pines. What do you do? What we do? I'm afraid I don't speak for Wild Pines as a whole. It, it's a giant undertaking. There was a touch of discomfort there. She wants to merely represent. So what do they do? The Pines' core competency is logistics. Container shipping, freight, that sort of thing. See those airships there, linking? Those are the shipping side of things, and that is the terminal. Another okay. subdivision deals with energy, oil and gas exploration, offshore platforms. Happy? Okay. The Wild Pines group is one of the original Revisholian Indo tribes. Companies awarded royal monopolies by the king, the suzerain himself, centuries ago. The king is long gone, 
but several of the Indo tribes remain. Some people complain about the lack of disco in disco so far, so we fixed that. Uh, is this how she gives me money? Who are the other intro tribes? Son Baptiste, L U M, an unknown entity known as Brightest Star. You're in good company, it seems. Why, thank you. Yes, I do have abs. I, I can do I can do a six minute. I, I already did a six minute plank on stream. But only when I have a good reason for that. How much money does Wild Pines have? I'm not at liberty to discuss the company balance sheet, but I can tell you that last year, the company put more than 20 billion real in revenue. A billion? Things ways. I still have a lot of muscle in my core. Five? Five. Five. Did we fail? Fuck, we fail. No, this is a stupid. Jesus Christ. What exactly is a billion? Tree. Tree. That's it? I thought Wild Pine was supposed to be big time. And to think, there are years when the group books losses in the billions. Oh. Wild Pines employs 72,000 people, all of whom have families that depend on their salaries. It is a tremendous responsibility. Where does Wild Pines get all those billions? They started as an exploration and cargo fleet conducting trade between the Samaran and Insulindian Easterlers 250 years ago, when pine ships explored the South Seminese and charted Lormantang on you behalf of the suzerain. Sam. Centuries of care, deliberation, and madness Estelle, have thank gone you for the true moments. Thank you. Vessels pass through the great unrest to re-emerge with... Is there a brata nearby? Time. Well, like, thank you for being here. Totally I, I have to show this it's stuff. Come back later. From its employees to build it. Okay, so. It probably helps you start out with a royal monopoly. Asta, thank you, thank you. I know. You know more than you let on. Certainly it helped, but most of the original Indo tribes have failed or been absorbed. To survive, while pines have Will she give me down. money? No suzerain did that. I need money. What does such a huge sysmal want in a place like this, huh? You mean aside from being the terminal's legal owners, who are responsible for moving eight percent of the world's cargo? Eight percent of all cargo in the world? There are no minor cogs in the system. Each terminal must be accounted for, lest the entire system break. Every hiccup in such a system means thousands lose their jobs the world over. I'm here to assure what that. What does the new talk mean? With your help, hopefully. I want to solve murder, but I need to buy cigarettes for a kid. Okay, tell me about this. Uh... Oh no, let's leave for now. Uh, okay. Kalinar, thank you so much for the three months. Thank you. I can internalize thoughts? What? No! This is a boring thought. Can I deal with that later? 
How do I get drugs? I need a plastic bar. A plastic bag. <gasps> I think. Let's go. Now we need to get trash. High five. Hold on. Yeah, recycling so we can buy drugs. Wait, I can't pick the... Oh, here we go! Nice! 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 Okay. Cool! Cool shit! Okay, so where do I sell this trash? Robocop? Yeah! Take. Take. I'm gonna clean this place up. Let's go. Do you guys have any trash for me? Yeah, well, we need only like 30 cents right now. This Postla Vantorie mail collection box has been heavily vandalized with graffito. A closer inspection reveals two bullet holes in the front. Good mail delivery box. Good box. Good box. The box seems happy. <laughs> Eat shit, pig. Fucked by the coon. And sent G with a crown have been scribbled on it. Jenny is a whore and best set mailbox also. <sighs> I feel you, mail collection box. The mail collection box seems cathartic. Thankfully, even so do you. You shudder, then you swallow. What just happened? I'm not going to kick it. It's mean. I love it. It's sweet. Okay, how do I deal with the trash? Um, I only have one HP. How did I lose health? What shop? Like the... How do you mean shop? Hold on. Oh my gosh. Walk two o'clock. Here? <laughs> the other two o'clock? Panic. Follow the road? Why you guys don't say follow the road? <gasps> Can we buy porn? Welcome to Ivashol. Uh Why are you addressing my partner like that? Don't you welcome to Revashol me? My grandfather came here from a 3,000-year-old racist isolationist culture, while your ancestors came to this island a mere 300 years ago. Every school of thought and government has failed in the city, but I love it nonetheless. It belongs to me as much as it belongs to you. Wow. Oh, oh. One? Two. You tell him, Kim. It's men like you who keep Revachol divided, making it that much harder for everyone to climb out of this post-war limbo. Hold on. Hold well on. Sorry. What he means is, fixation on the Revisholian nation 
makes it harder for Revachol to actually attain self-determination. Well then. You He's right. You're undermining our best shot at the real self-determination. Oh, the cosmic man, thinking for the 20th like month. Said, uh, welcome thank to you. Rivachol. It's a lorry driver thing. I know exactly what you meant. You think my cosmic kind thinking. doesn't belong here. That I should watch myself and oh, shit. behave. But you see, I'm an officer of the RCM. It's actually my job to make sure you behave. I would advise you to remember that. Silence. The air between them becomes tense. Your partner needs backup. Now's your moment to shine. Lua high five. High five! Mohadash, thank you so much for the two months. Wow. Do you guys think we go with two? Because it's... No, one. One, we, we, we succeeded at this. My partner needs back up. Fucking A, Kim, I've got your back. You do make a cute couple. You know that? Well, bitch, at least we're fucking. The lieutenant exhales and resumes his regular calmness. Now that that's subtle, we have a couple of questions. Whatever you say, officers. You could ask him to show you the soles of his boots. He definitely looks like someone capable of a lynching. Ooh! Maybe he was present. Let me see the soles of your fucking boots, bitch! Been in my hey, hey, hey. stompers, huh? Sure thing. Check them out. On the bottom of the man's boots, you see an intricate tangle of treads with no immediately discernible pattern. What's up with your shoes? It's Revachol. What? Where did you get boots like that? Custom made. Cost me a pretty penny. But why? For when the invasion comes, the last thing they'll see before the lights go out is illustrious Revachol. Yes, we are. It doesn't look like the lieutenant cares. He just makes a little note. Four? I don't know, I'm tempted to do two or, or three. Do you understand you're stomping on a revocal every day, don't you? No, it's not like that. You don't get it. It's when I kick them, you know? Oh, fuck it. It's too complex for you. What was the argument all about? Uh, it's about biological determinism. Natural law. The sorting of the races. Not the most popular topic nowadays, with a coalition in charge and all. You might want to change the topic. That is, bury your head under the sand like common sheep. Oh, so you're just a racist. Makes sense. No, 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 maybe... Maybe I should just get him to explain. What do you guys think? A 
to be honest, I can't really remember what that means. Please explain. People who've studied these things say that you and me are superior by design. So, uh, naturally, we Occidentals should be in charge. Obviously, you can see the merits in that. It's just sarcastic? <gasps> what the fucking idiot? It sounds sarcastic. Yes, I can really tell you're a prime example of superior design. Open your eyes. Haven't you noticed something different lately? An unfortunate downturn, maybe? Huh? When members of the superiority cease to believe in their innate superiority, they stop competing for resources. No, no, no. Hold on. I was just too horny and my brain is starting to work right now. I'm trying to understand what's going on. Yeah, I think he might be racist. Okay, hold on. Okay, and... This concerns you, policemen, so you better be vigilant. The damn kits are showing up good lately. Same with the mosquitoes. And the other intruder species, too. They're on the precipice of cultural victory. Cultural victory? What is this, then? Wait, what is this cultural victory? It's what the kips of Boogie Street are going for, right under our noses. And the others, too, on the radio. Heard any chanson lately? Heard any motetos or leader? No. Is this guy stupid? Dominating culture is how they plan to win. They say so themselves. You know what's funny? There's people right now here all over the world. And turns out, every single one of us just wants to survive. Play video games and maybe get some fuck. How is that hard to understand that we're all the same shit? Should I say nothing? I feel like it's not worth our time. Uh huh. I don't know. It's true. Also, you need to realize the dangers of mixing races. Who knows what might happen? If Bitch, don't please! In the place, you might end up with a new sub race. I'm mixed as it gets! Leading to extra competition. That's why you've got to control the offspring. Find your face, find your face, find your face, find your face. Yeah, I'm not down with this. Why don't you just go and fuck yourself? Don't push your luck, Runt. Whatever, this is the store? What the fuck? Romance of option? Welcome to Frit. Feel free to look around or something. Everything okay. on the shelves. Okay. Super Sorgi, thank you so much for your subscription. Thank you, thank you. Jesus Christ. What's that magazine she's reading? Uh... What is this, Frit? I don't know. Frit? You know... Um... Uh, I'm kind of like... Against murder. Unless if it's unless if it's that kid Kuno. Uh, and what's freight? A seven to eleven grocery store. Oh, 
Why is it written with three T's? I think they think that the extra T makes it funkier. It doesn't. The story goes that normal Fritta with two T's, a men's workwear shop in Vredefort, was already taken. So when Fritta Retail Inc. grew into a multinational oh God. they had to add an extra letter. Okay, what magazine are you reading? Infringement. You mean this? Yeah, that. She looks at the cover, boasting a colorful photo of two girls kissing hot. This is pop stars. It's got, like, famous people in it. It's not for sale. Oh. Looks like it also has something called Police de la Mode, featured on page 34. This speaks to you. <laughs> hey, yeah, how's your day going? <laughs> yeah, I like tree though because we suc we succeeded composure. Little Hishima, thank you so much for the two months. May the bunnies be with you. My day's going great. I I except I a kid kind of like owns me right now. I'm trying to buy him cigarettes. Thomas the Bone. I would not marry you, not even if you're the last man on this planet, because you're a random person on the internet. What the fuck, dude? Go outside. Forget it all. What is this fashion police feature? Um, it's where they rate different outfits famous people wear. It's kind of funny. They're kind of mean. I think... It's about who's the most stylish. Oh. I bet your hat would take that prize. Um, no. I don't like it. I hate it. Thomas Bone, you asked me to marry you and then you called me a bitch. You should be in school, my friend. You're too young to be typing. Does, do your parents know you're saying those bad things to girls online? Jesus Christ, Thomas. Your parents expected that. Thank you so much for watching ads, though. Find your face, find your face, find your face, find your face. We are not the fashion police. What the fucking clown? We're the police. <laughs> Raika, thank you so much for the prime. Mwah, thank you, thank you. Ah, oh, can you believe those guys? They just watch ads and then say dumb shit. Gee. <laughs> thank you, Raika. Mwah, you're so sweet. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, exactly, King. And nobody talks to a bro like that. Let's proceed. I have some questions for you. Um, okay. I'm not really supposed to be chatting to anyone, but... Why? Can you tell me anything about the dead body? Um, I don't really know anything. It's weird. I My mean, upset thing. I there, but I haven't seen it, so... Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, wait, what, Excel? Do my parents know how much of a disappointment you become? My parents love me. They're very proud of me. Are you projecting? Don't do that. Asira, thank you so much for the four months. Mwah, may the bunnies be with you. Froggy, thank you. You're so kind. Thank you. Uh. Oh, you meant the other guy? What? Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. I missed. Oh. God, yeah, no, don't worry about the guy, you know. Again, if his parents knew he was on the internet, he, they, they, they would be mad at him, you know. It's okay. Sorry, sorry, I misunderstood. I'm sorry. Exile, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Forgive me. I didn't mean to be rude to you. I just misunderstood it. But at least, at least... At least I, I, I'm not going to double down like I did with Kuno. I only double down when it comes to punching 12 years old that are highly drugged. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Forgive me. I missed the context of the message. I wasn't thinking about the other guy anymore. The fuck does Kuno care? God, I, I read that message? 
in the, his fucking voice. Can you stop? Did you know the man who died? Not really. I am so sorry once again. I, I, I just didn't realize what you're saying. But thank you for clarifying. And I'm sorry I... Yeah. Does that mean... Does that mean you knew him a little? Um, no. I didn't know him at all. How long has it has been there? I don't know. Really long. What do you think happened? Um, I don't know. No need to worry. <gasps> just standard procedure for us to ask around. If you hear anything, let us know, okay? Okay. Thank you for your help. Uh-huh. <gasps> How do I sell shit? You see several packaged raincoats fill a low shelf beneath a display of croissants and juice bottles. The rain Oh, heck. And again, Excel, I'm sorry again. Ah. Machine on the wall? Oh! The tear machine stands in your bottles clunk into the machine and the money appears. One dollar? I'm fucking rich! You're a richer man now. Holy fuck! Let's fucking go! High five! That's like three times the money I had almost. Well, two times almost. Whatever. Math is not my strong, my strength. Okay. Can oh, can where do I buy a cigarette for Kuno? Wait, I wanted to buy something else. A map? No, I didn't. I didn't play Red Dead Redemption. No, yeah, no, yeah. I, I. I, I. By the way, Excel, I am so sorry. I completely took your message out of context. I feel really, really bad. Jesus. The plaque on the shelf reads, Biographies of Famous People. You see a large variety of names, none of which ring a bell. No. We need the maps. Several maps have been... The maps look old and faded. <sighs> Your eye catches a map of Insulinda, a map of Revachon, and a map of... Isn't Martinez. this almost our money? Always good to be informed of your surroundings. You've acquired an interactable item. Investigate this item further by going to the interact tab in your inventory. Oh, the tutorial lady is so sexy. Interact. Where's the interact button? What the hell? I click. Oh! The worn map features the patchwork grid of the streets of Martinez, with directions to appropriately touristy. Location. I didn't see the red. Year forty-eight resides on the upper right corner. Okay. Your finger moves through the various streets. You had the same Across issue. Rue de Songs is lame. Oh hey. Rue San Sipa, over San Brun, and Martinez North. Finally. Coming to a halt on the spot no, where you are currently standing, although the map gives no such indication itself. For a more detailed view of the map, go to your journal and select the map tab. Okay. God, this lady sounds so sexy. Oh! Cool! Okay. Hold on. Uh. What time is it? It's almost lunch time. Where are some cigarettes? Is this... Is this a police car? Hold on. Is there anything around? Oh, what's this? Oh, look, there is a window there. Covers a truck. Kim's car? Thank you, Froggy Gaming. Thank you. An 
old monument stands in the middle of the traffic island, pointing toward the sea. It looks as if it's been reassembled piece by piece, secured and mounted in the air with the aid of numerous ropes and rods. Who is this? A silver plaque on the statue's pedestal reads, I am Philip III, the squanderer, the greatest of the Philippian kings of Revachon, son of Philip II, the opulent, father of Philip IV, the insane. Not a good track record of mental health. <laughs> what did the king do? Even by the five. Of the Let's go. Kings, old sumptuous Philip was known for his profligacy. What's profil pro 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 profligacy? Well, he blew through the whole national treasure. Oh, okay, okay. Starting the decline of one of the penultimate century's greatest superpowers, the suzerain of Rivershaw. His own maladministration foreshadowed the fall of the monarchy during the anti centennial revolution, an end to his family line and the monarchy on the Insulindian Isola. How did he manage to blow through the entire na national treasury? Stories have it that he had his bedroom converted into a treasure chamber where he stored unfathomable wealth. Krugerrands, bars of gold, ornate weaponry, armor. Why are you saying no? Various chalices. He called it the Sol Auron. It was obscene. There were whispers he slept on a huge pile of gold-dipped feathers like some obese dragon. Instead of a bed, like a normal person. The man certainly knew how to live. Okay. Wait, really? There's no way that's true. Right? But wait, you haven't even heard about his fabled cocaine addiction. I don't want to know. Philip III's ludicrous bronze likeness looks defiantly up into the sky. You think this composition was lying? But the but the encyclopedia would never do that. Wait, what's happening? Oh my panic! Oh no! That's a big man. Bastards! We have a right to work. What's going on here? Hold up and stay frosty, everyone. Cops are here. You here to fuck with us? Beat the honest worker down. Why? Why? Hey, yabba! I'm fucked. Yabba. Okay, well, thank you so much for the two mums. Thank you, thank you. Oh, why should should I? We're here to fight for a cause. Stripes usually have problems with people who have causes. Um. I think I'm fucked whatever I respond. Holy shit. What happens if I die? Game Are you serious? Game over? I don't know what to do. Wait, 
What's best? <sighs> okay, then I'm thinking no. Good. We're fighting for a cause here. Right to work! Right to work! Besides, we're not that different. It helps if people see us talking, cops and strike breakers together. Shows authorities are on our side. Builds confidence. I'm scared. What had I put what, what did I put myself into? Regardless, I have some uh, some questions for you. Maybe you should ask them the questions. Like, why we're not allowed to make a living here. Shame on you! Oh, God. We have families to feed, you piece of shit. So do we, Scott. What's this? I don't know what to do. Oh, panic. Oh, panic. Who are all those strike breakers? Honest men and women with rights to work, to be useful, not toys for corporate interests. We came here to help the harbor run smoothly in time of crisis. I'm from Brazil. If union fucks don't want work, they ought to let in those who do want work. I have a question. Why do all these men follow your leadership? What? You think they follow because I'm big and loud? No. They follow the rules of the market. The rules of the economy. Because they were... Given a job to do! What exactly is your goal here? We were promised work. We'd be in there, working, if the bastards hadn't shut the gates. Okay, I wanted to discuss something else. The physically impressive man tower has turned his attention back to the gates. He ignores your presence. Shit. I should have done one. How you mean, Night Lancer? How you mean? I, I'm confused right now. I don't know if I can still do it. Any cow booze? Okay. Hold on. Can I load the game? Wait, is there a good ending of this game? Why? I don't know. I, I feel like... Uh, Scott? You're hazy on the notion of a... What does that mean? Smells like politics, though. Maybe it's got something to do with the flask he reaches for from time to time. Should I ask? What exactly is that? A kind of a worm, content with mere survival. They come, they want to do our job for shittier pay, screwing over both themselves and us. Everybody loses. Ay, yeah, yeah. People are so fucking stupid, right? They're fighting each other instead of the ones that are actually fucking them in the ass. You don't seem to like them much. 
Gotta be bloody stupid. Freaking evil to scare. Or I guess, scared maybe. But scared of what? Of who? Personally, I'd rather beg than scam. If the gentlemen shouting on the street came begging, maybe they'd have gotten something. Uh, panic. Can I get those people to be friends? Because I feel like they're both getting fucked in the ass, you know? And, and they should unite to to be together and fucking the ass whatever is fucking them both. Have you tried talking to them? We've explained the matters, but they don't listen. This lot would be reasonable and go home if the big guy wasn't riling them up all the time. Because... I don't know. Some people are also getting exploited, right? Because maybe sometimes... Hold on. Big guy. He means the leader of the scabs. Okay. Should I tell him I'm a cop? I think it's a bad idea. I know, I know that it's complicated and I don't have enough information, so... That's why when the game is like, do you like this or that? I'm like, panic. <sighs> I'm a cop. No, I'll walk away. I'll leave for now. Shit. I feel like uh, this game is danger. Press button behind guard. No lock picking or door kicking? Shit, can I kick? Ooh, romance of option? Is this Shadow Heart? Nope. How do you mean I can talk with the, the cute ladies? Nobody <gasps> betrays your degeneracy. Oh my panic. I didn't see this guy. Yeah, Measurehead. His body totally betrays his degeneracy. Don't say anything. Size him up first. Say nothing. Size him up first. Are you admiring my morphophysiology? It must be frightening to stand in the shadow of this racial pinnacle. Be calm, I'm Sandwich. You are not in danger because you are not a threat to me. Did he just call me a ham sandwich? I think one. I think we'll go with one. I think one is the best. What is this androgynous display of sexual maturity? Merely standing up makes you sweat profusely. Your breathing is erratic. Your own heartbeat <laughs> Panic! grows. Oh, frantic. I'm so fucked! You feel your blood pressure rise. Stop it! You are embarrassing yourself in front of this woman and your pedomorphic friend. <coughs> this display of weakness may appeal to older women with a stronger maternal instinct. But it is a liability here on Battlefield Martinez. Jean-Luc, his body is betraying his degeneracy pretty hard. Maybe you can ask him to leave. Oh my god. Can I come back later? 
Holy fuck. Oh my god. Okay. The 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 checks that I failed, can I ever redo them? Jesus Christ. Can I can I leave and come back here with more health? Cuz right now I only have one health. Okay, maybe I should go buy a ham sandwich. Where can I get it? Oh, panic. Milbro, thank you so much for the three months of support. Thank you. Hold on. Okay, hold on. This is a raincoat, right? See several packaged raincoats. How do I heal? The tear machine stands in the corner. A sign says one bottle equals ten cents. Excuse me, I have the bag, but no. Can I still use the tear machine? No. You need tear to use the tear machine. Wait. How do I buy? Um, is this about containers? Oh. Can the I get small them? cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles, Defeated at nasal recycling. sprays, yep. and blister packs. They all bear the San Baptiste Pharmaceutics logo. Their logo is the bloodless rose, pure white, untouched by harm. Um, just ask me if you need anything from Saint Baptiste. We don't stock prescription meds, but we do have nose effects, trees, health, magnesium, and hypnogamma. Okay, so so I can't heal above, right? Noza? Oh, I can't afford it. Fuck. Fuck. Hold on. Ooh, we might get enough money now. The tear machine stands in the corner. I got one bottle? Hi, hi, hi. Hold on. Did I get... That was already a healing... Op no. I can't heal. Bottles? Oh, it was Magni. Oh, it's the, the mental healing. God, the music here is so tense. What's this? Oh, clothes! What does this white tank top do? Oh! Wait, does that make us stronger? Ooh. High five! Okay, that's good. We need to find cigarettes for Kuno. Take the jacket off. Damn. Keep it in your pants, chat. Keep it in your freaking pants. Oh, hi. The small, wrinkled woman does not greet you. She nods along to something on her radio. A photograph is clutched in her hands, and there is a warm smile on her face. The photo, an ambrotype from the turn of the century, as golden as her smile. It's the warmth of a winter night's fire. Maybe she could give you comfort and shelter, some cigarettes and food money. Maybe she's your... Grandma? Should I really do this? Call this random woman my grandma? Nothing. Her smile just keeps widening. Her hair is gray like lead. Panic. She's not. It's about... Excuse me, ma'am. 
I'd like to ask some questions. No response. Wherever this woman is, your words fail to reach her. Grandma? Nothing. Her smile just keeps widening. Her hair is grey like lead. Hold on. Leave? The woman Grandma? Nothing. Her smile. Panic. Panic. It's out. <gasps> what the fuck? A five! Let's go! We can buy healing. And then we can talk to that guy. We are rich. This is the most money we ever had. Hi, Gib. A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles. Okay, yeah. here. A I tank. Saint Batiste makes you feel better or something. A tank. Okay, nice. We're full health now. High five. Oh, really? We save. Great. Is this a good idea? Wait. Continues to betray your degeneracy. Don't say anything. Size him up first. What is this androgynous display of sexual maturity? Merely standing up makes you sweat. Stop it! You are in. <coughs> this is display. Jean Luc. His body is betraying his degeneracy. What is this? Merely standing. Stop. <coughs> this is this. Jean Luc. His body is betraying his degeneracy really hard. How do I get Maybe stronger? Ask him to leave. My body does not betray my. Let up. You have succumbed to Alhul. You reek of it. An invisible sword of Alhul emerges from your throat. You cannot see it, but others can. It is making the woman in my company sick. Enough. I need you to open the door to the harbor. No, you don't. You need to get another drink. Occidental upload group B4 is done giving orders around here. The influence of the ham sandwich rays is waning. Show him the ham still got it. Oh, the ham still got it. Of someone, the guy down there. Holy fuck! Do we won? That fat racist over there? You're just him, but you're pumping, pumping some iron. Look at my craniology. I am the pinnacle of my Ablo group. The pink blob is a bad example, even of yours. It saddens me. You were once a noble and powerful race. You gave the world eugenics, electricity, and powerful weapons of war like missiles and aerostatic aircraft. Oh God. You, you dominated lesser cultures like Jesus the Christ. deformed Hemians and the inexplicably potato-obsessed Koikos. But now your ascent to the genetic summit has halted. You are obsessed with sadness 
and with frivolous pop culture. You will be superseded. Isn't that right, babe? It is, baby, yeah. You know it. There is a button right behind him, just out of reach. It must be the one that opens the door to the harbor. Can I beat him? Can I fucking beat him? How? We push. <laughs> that is right. You should leave the stage of history with dignity by inviting the other races to a great world war. Bring your troops to the Seminine Islands and to Boogie Street and we will pulverize you. When you are gone, we will build the mutiny walls will be lined with bottles of al Ghul, your beloved beverage. Inside, we will store the oaths to homosexuality you call art, and your microcephalic skulls. There may be a peaceful solution to this. You could internalize Meshekat's race theory. He would take you as one of his own. No. Well, not as such. What you do with the mastery of advanced race theory is up to you. You could reject the findings, sure, or accept them and become an advanced racist. Do you guys think I can do four? is in his giant hand and he's squeezing it it hurts oh you must be out of your mind degenerate drunk say it i am a degenerate alcoholic fuck you your fist cracks in his hand like a ripe apple pain shoots up into your brain as he's twisting it more and more the words to the song have changed. Say, I am a violent drunk. Am I dead? No. I won't fucking say anything. You feel something in your chest. An unnatural pressure. It's spreading to your left arm. Your jaw. Oh, panic. No, no, I got this. So I'm guessing this is bad. Very, very bad. This is the end. Bad. Try to remain conscious. All you feel is pain and weakness. You have to surrender now. We all do. It gets so dark. You don't even see her face. 
like you always thought you would. You only see pain and fear. Whose face? Cop suffers final heart attack. A detective lieutenant of the RCM passed away yesterday. His death, though abrupt, did not come as a surprise to those who knew him. He was the heaviest drinker I'd ever met. Captain Ptolemy Price, the deceased superior officer, commented. That ain't easy on the ticker. He loved his liquor, sure, said Detective Chester McLean, friend and colleague. But I think before he ever had a heart attack, his heart was broken. According to an official statement given by the RCM, the officer was on the brink of solving a murder case. I actually lost my safe out. Are you for real? New game. Hold on. Hey, boo. Okay. Hey, boo. Okay. Okay. Reload. Can I try again? I can do that row. Body, don't say anything. Size him up first. What is this? Merely st stop it. <coughs> this is this. Jean Luc, his body is betraying his degenerate. You are. You reek of it. An invisible sword of Alhul emerges from your throat. You cannot see it, but others can. It no. Show him the hand still does this. Remind you of someone? The guy down there? Look, you get. You don't. You will. It is bad. There is a button right behind him. That's bring your troops. You want. There may be a peaceful solution to this. You could internalize measure. Well, not as such. What you do with the mastery of advanced race theory is up to you. You could reject the findings. Ah! Just like that. Ah! Instinct ah! is over. Fuck it! Solid strike Fuck! into his throat. Let's fucking go! You could swear you fucked You're so fucked, bitch! Stands still around you. In the distance, the sounds of the harbor are falling silent. All you hear is a small gurgling sound as a trickle of blood appears on the man's lip. Invaders, attack!
check out Ash Monster. She she's one of the sweetest people. I I I I I, I love watching her Baldur's Gate streams after I'm done streaming. She's great. Ash, I am so sorry. I I was really into something. Okay. I don't really want to talk much about it, but I had I had beef with somebody. Okay. Thank you. I really appreciate you. I really do. I really do. You guys, those coming from Ash Monster Stream, I I play a lot of Baldur's Gate 3, okay? I, I, I completed honor mode with one character, only using one character, the entire game on honor mode. Uh, I, I, I did a bunch of crazy challenge runs. I did Dark Souls 3 with a dance pad on a level 1 character. No, Dark Souls... Blah, blah, blah. I, I did Elden Ring on a dance pad, Bloodborne on a dance pad, your mother on a dance pad. I, I did Elden Ring movie. It's on my YouTube. Anyways. Chris, thank you so much for gifting us up to hash. Mwah. Disco Inferno. As you slam your fist on the button, ah! the man collapses entirely. His head rolling to the side. You're fucked. Looks like you're the new Measurehead now. Her voice is surprisingly calm. Holy fuck! No one is the new Measurehead. Let's go before he gets up. He has a good point. As you turn, a bright light catches your eye, making you squint. Cool. So cool. <laughs> what is that? Where is it coming from? From a distant sunset, a stage light, flash photography, nowhere in particular. It's just what superstar law officers do. They squint at lights and they solve shit. Shit. Revy, thank you so, so much for the two months. Thank you. Ashi, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I. Ay 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 ay. Ay 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 ay. Two? Do we become a superstar? Yeah, that's me. I've been establishing my superstar doom hard lately. It, wait, is it a big decision? Can no can we change back on this? It's like mega big? We too. Yeah, you have. You're a big dick cop. Dick Mullen. Salam Rocky Bayi. Badass on the edge disco cop. Time to recede into a ludicrous fantasy world. Here we go. Camera. Lights. Lights? Disco! Action! With a sudden flash, the world freezes around you, and you along with it. God. In an iconic monochrome solution, a black silhouette against a rasterized orange world. It's on. Let's fucking go! High five! Let's go! Can I loot him? Can I point down and laugh? The man is still knocked out. He breathes slowly and steadily. Oh, get fucked. Oh, get fucked. Gee, well, I'm still carrying my, my bottle bag, of course. Of course. I gotta be who I am. And badass. Wait. I push the button to open, to open something. My thought cabinet. Oh shit. So we can... Okay, so we'll lose true logic. Oh shit, do we become a superstar? <laughs> F 
fuck, logic? It's only for one hour? Oh god. We internalize. Okay. Wait, go ask questions to these ladies? <gasps> oh, he's back! Oh, fuck, oh, fuck! I'm not scared! <laughs> Demand democracy. Wait. What's this? Dark liquid. Wait, coffee is more sentient? Five more XP. Five more XP for punching him again? Sh should we talk with the guy? That we just knocked out? Yes? You seem to be following me. Excuse me? Uh, nothing. Just an observation. You have a, a distinctive way of walking. If I were to walk in front of you, we would surely collide. Oh, what do you mean distinctive? I hope you don't take this the wrong way. It's just a collegial observation. In the 57th, we call it the Jamrock Shuffle. Officers from Jamrock's 41st precinct tend to move a bit erratically. How's that? They say it's a scene-clearing technique developed by one of your lieutenants for gathering evidence. It's erratic, yet thorough. Prioritizes containers. You're kidding me, why containers? I don't know. Containers... contain, I guess. I'm making assumptions. We should move on. Passing along frivolous interdepartmental stereotypes is not usually his oeuvre. He regrets bringing it up. Okay, so... Okay, sorry. That was a weird conversation. An imposing combination of a punch clock. Oh my god, phone. is it mocking that I tried to loot everything? A note on the side says, Tokens unavailable due to strike. Use change. Fuck. We use. The machine swallows your coin and seems to be waiting for your next move. Oh god. Okay. Uh, let's dial a random number. It's unclear whether you actually have muscle memory. Right now, your finger is just drawing vaguely occult patterns in the air. Y useful patterns? Undoubtedly, no. I might try this later. Sure, why not? Muscle. The already familiar. Fuck. Okay, we'll try. Oh, there's a thing here. Gosh. On second glance, someone has forgotten to properly close one of the drawers. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's unfortunate for the union to just leave their paperwork lying around like this. Okay. Let's see what's inside, he thinks. Gosh. Ashley, thank you so much again for the raid. I really appreciate that. Do we open? We do. The drawer opens smoothly. Inside is a well-organized selection of brown folders. Wasteland tree? Oh yeah, uh, uh, a goat gave me a blowjob in the wasteland tree. And I also got a radioactive STD from that game. But those are the only two things I remember from that game. You heard me. You heard me. Sub. <clears throat> huh? <laughs> hey, cuz for that even. Thank you so much for the 53 months. Oh, thank you. Okay, we breath. Hundreds of documents containing logistical data. Two kinds of transactions stand out. 
Materials coming into Revachol from the outside world, from Muindi, Grad, and even Ilmara. Thank you, Kazi. Thank you. Thank you for the support to Blackjack and Hookers for my bunny for 53 months. Uh, yes, Wasteland Tree, uh, you, you, you can get a lot of things done. The music is amazing in that game. And the same materials being handed over to companies inside Revachol, Kuron, Coal City, La Delta, and Jamrock. Okay. are listed among the many districts where the imports are being Anything sold. Anything interesting? It's hard to make sense of this thicket of company names, dates, quantities, and Hey, facilities. force yourself through the folders! You try to focus, but the line, whatever yes! hidden hair, High is five! hidden five! Concentration isn't enough. Only a trained accountant with a background in logistics would be able to really make sense of it. However, there is a little handwritten note stuck on the side of the drawer. Look at the note. It appears to be a to-do list written in large, uneven capital letters. Remember, Leo, Everard's shoes, special whirling borscht, water Everard's plants, sweet office floor, more banners. Shoes? Aren't the one that quest to find shoes? All items on the list have been crossed out and the note itself is crumpled. Look, Kim, I should do note with a list of errands for Everett. Everett Clare, probably. The head of the Debarders Union. One of his aides must have left Don't it. Forget to open deeds. Nothing incriminating here. Take another look at the note. Remember, Leo. Everett's shoes. Special whirling borscht. Water Everett's plants. Sweet office floor. More banners. All items on the list have been crossed out, and the note itself is crumpled. Okay, we close. The drawer oh, Amanda, thank you for the thousand minutes. Well, that's so kind of you. Okay. Just a postcard? Okay, there's some boxes here. Okay, so this is a place we opened after we punched that guy, right? Ooh. Nice. Don't forget to open these. These what, Elemento? Hold on. Wait, what's this? Oh, shit! Oh, a coat! Looks like someone left his tarpaulin cloak hanging on the railing. These here. not? There oh. is a white rectangle clearly visible on its back. This is your cloak. What? You can feel it. Lieutenant, I think that's mine. Yes, it does bear the RCM insignia, and we are the only detectives in Martinez. You think I should get it? The service cloak issued to you by your station? Yes, yes I do. As your fingers touch the tarpaulin, it almost feels like the cloak wants to deliver a message of comfort through your fingertips. Nice! I will shield you from the elements and give my life for yours. That's what the cloak is relaying. Okay, I have a really weird interaction with uh, <laughs> with items. Yes, I was talking to my cloak. You heard it right. Nice, nice, good job, Azoka. What's this? Thought? Machines. It's only 12. Do we, do we have to sleep or something? What's this? Button? It's a red button. Resting control panel with several knobs. <sighs> Two buttons marked These doors. and Aret are faded with use. It seems to control the large crane above. A container is attached to its hook block. You know what I noticed? I love Baldur's Gate 3 and the narrator has a very central voice and i love this collision and the narrator also has a very central voice coincidence marsh on aret off what do we press a button a rusting 
control panel with several knob. Marsh. On. Alert. We're prepped. Off. With a loud grind, the crane shifts overhead, moving a massive metal container through the air. Oh. Okay. Uh oh. This is fine. Okay. And with a surprisingly quiet thunk, the crane places the container down. Okay. The harbor sleeps as the strike rages in the distance. The crane can rest again now that its purpose has been fulfilled. Its purpose? What do you mean? Moving this container, of course. For this purpose, it was built. For this purpose, it has acted. And now, it will rest. I can't see how that was worth the wreckers. Except for seeing the crane in action, which I admit was satisfying. Okay, let's not press anything. We leave. Let's go see that. Hold on. We're rich now! And healing? Okay. Before you stands a cargo container. Just one of Discovery. the yard. Lieutenant, I think there is something special about this container. Wait. Leave the container alone. Hold on. Uh... What's this? Oh, I can just sell it? Oh, we can interact the with a book? This quarterly journal features a large satirical portrait. We'll open it. One second. King Frieza. From the sides of his head, a pair of white antlers spread to the corners of the cover. Flip through the pages. See what you catch us. To your disappointment, there aren't any full color pictures to direct your attention. After rifling the it's pages me, thumb, several times, you return to the table of contents. The magazine is divided into several sections. International <laughs> Development, Kunst und Kultur, and Local Concerns. Okay. Just inside the cover, there's also an editor's note. Read the editor's note. Comrade, as you know, this journal takes its name from Mazov's immortal expression, Du Cristal a la fume. This was his way of describing the way the rigid, crystalline structures of capitalist ideology turned to smoke under communism. But, like the structures of capitalist ideology, we too are at risk of going a la fume. Unlike many publications, you guys, you know what I realized? To spoon feed their readers reassuring drivel. La Fume is committed to telling the radical truth, even when that truth may drive away potential subscribers. We're investigating a body, and I don't think I interacted with the body. We were investigating. So please, if you value our radical Mazovian perspective on contemporary politics, culture, and international affairs, please consider subscribing today. Yours in struggle, the editors. <gasps> Okay. Do you guys want to tell one or two? Kim, I think this is a communist magazine. What do you expect? It was laying around the office of the Debarders Union. Oh. They're probably bankrolling this thing. You flip back to the front of the magazine. The table of contents. Okay, we'll just put it away. Let, let's open the container and then we'll go interact with the, the body. Stands a cargo container. Just one of Open. Them. Because I don't. Why not? There are a million containers here. Why are you fixating on this one? I don't know, Kim. It just feels special. It's a cargo container. It's later. Mm, thank, you. Like thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your subscription. Thank you so much for supporting. 
Blackjack and hookers for my bunny. Hold on. Ah. Ah, there's a cowboy hat here. Your support goes directly to Blackjack and the hookers for this boy. In front of him is a salad bowl. He's sleeping. Ah, he's so cute. We are not here to interact with containers. We are here to talk to the Union, right? Okay, knock on the door. No reply. Open the door. Intent to turn the handle to no avail. The door to your left. The lieutenant considers your actions with some puzzlement. Do I try to persuade the door to open? Why are you even trying to open a door with rhetoric? Because getting physical isn't an option. Because what wasn't an option? Using my body over my wits. Now is not the time to get philosophical, detective. Okay. We'll need to come back here. Do you guys think we can open my using the other? Oh, because of the minus two logic? Oh, shit. Okay, let's go to the body. Hold on. Ooh. Shiny. Oh! Pack of c cigarettes? Can we go here? Oh, bottles! Bottles! Can you guys believe I almost missed on those bottles? Wait, the harbor will close? How you mean? Forever? Can I come back tomorrow? Watchman's booth. The name on the door reads Rene Arno. Kim. I'm gonna take a quick look inside. If you must. But nothing incriminating catches your eye. The cabinets are clean and their sparse contents meticulously organized. Do we take a, a picture? A photograph on the table. We take the picture. It's a black and white photo of a young couple out in a street fair. The man okay. is young, dark skinned, and dressed in a Royal Carabiner uniform. The girl is smiling playfully at the camera. Why did you take that? Something about this man piques my interest. Uh, I'm making a artistic photo collage, Kim. Nah, nah, one, one, one. Something about this. Nah, yeah, three. Of course you are. What murder investigation would be complete without an arbitrary photo collage? This is the night what Perfect. Hold on. Wait, Todd? Numerous empty wine bottles glisten in the rain. Someone partied really, really hard here. Okay, how hard? Well, they went through six bottles of potent Pilsner, three bottles of Commodore Red, and almost four packs of cigarettes. Did I do it this? must have been pretty hard. Well, yes, I think we can say with relative confidence that it was Oh, you. fuck! One? I think one is accurate. Four? I'm a superstar, right? I must have been in an advanced scouting mission in the harbor. Yes, this looks pretty advanced, all right. For now, let's just move on. What does he mean by that? Advanced... He didn't mean advanced good things, right? Hold on. Will I mess? Rust in control back. All right. The crane does not return to its original position. It does not move at all. Okay. That's fine. We just try to open it again. One last time before we go. You're back before the cargo container. It's I can't. 
Damn it! When we will get... When will we will stop internalizing the thought? We're almost done. I love him. Wait, what's this? How do we get up here? When I talk to people? Anybody? I need to go to the body. Hold on, is there another door I can take? Yeah, this game is crazy. Oh, my panic. Did the guy lock us in? Oh. Where's the union leader? This is the night watchman. I don't I don't know where he is. I don't know anything about the men. I don't know why I'm talking with him. I don't know what's the problem. Hold on. Hold on. Dark CV. I can't relate to that. How do we get up to the ceiling? I mean safe scum. No, no, not safe scum. The already familiar. It has to be the container, right? I love how we can see uh Harry Stotts. Gee. Money? Money. Five. Oh gosh, we have three. Three. What's this? Don't we need some logic to talk with the union leader? Oh, we're gonna be fine. Oh god. Oh god, who is this guy? Nice and red container, container, put the logos on. The lyrics to this container song are being made up as he goes along. Oh, he's so nice. The accent is so thick, it's impossible not to notice he's Ubi from the vanishing peninsula of Ubi Sunt on Muindi. Container, container, used to be well pines. Container, container, now belongs to Everard. Hi! Everard, 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 he looks after everyone. Huh? Well, hey there. How can I help you, mister? Everard. Didn't we read, like, a to-do list with this guy's name? The look in his deep blue eyes is as sincere as you've ever seen. Kind of makes you feel like an arsehole for no apparent reason. I see you are not a union man, mister. Did you get lost? You're not one of them scabs, are you? No, no, I, I'm not. I mean, I don't personally mind. Folks is just folks, you know, and folks gotta eat. Just some of the other guys don't look too kindly on the scabbing kind, if you know what I mean, mister. You're Ubi, right? Oh, yes. Born and raised in Arayish, mister. Mum had to leave my dad after he got a bit violent. Took us here to the new, new world. I was about ten then. Too old to lose my accent then. People say us Ubis are up to all sorts Can we have some cowboys in chat? Animals and whatnot. I just want you to know there was never any of that where I come Sasha, from. Sasha, you're having no, a bad sir. day. What's your problem? Those are just nasty rumors. What is your problem? Thank you for clarifying that. Don't sir. be so angry. Did K Kuno kick kick you kick your ass as well? It's okay. Okay, uh... Are you the Leo who wrote the note to make more banners? Oh, yes, yes. I leave all Thank kinds you. of notes for myself. That old head of mine ain't so good at keeping things in no more. I almost forgot about the borscht. What was that about the borscht? Oh, yes. I've been taking special whirling borscht to the men every day since the strike started. 
<laughs> it's very, very good. Makes a man feel so warm and happy. I feel like I could take on Mr. Renadan's boar dogs every time the lunch is done. Wait, wait, wait. What does... Wait, what? What do you mean by taking this soup to the men? It's free striking. Yes, yes. I'm taking it to them. The borscht keeps them happy. Oh, so he's feeding the guys. Makes you all warm inside. He's they just feeding them. The whirling in rags. Okay. Hold on. Who makes it at the whirling? Oh, the whirling's cook. He makes it. Them is always talking with Mr. Manana in that weird language and laughing together. He doesn't speak what we speak. He's from Grad. Okay. Something is off about this borscht. I'm going to look into it. We, we look. Oh, sure, mister. Sure. You do that. Yes, sir. What's in that container over there? Oh, that one. That should be empty as far as I know. Empty? Lots of containers here have nothing in them. They're just waiting to be loaded up. With what? No, it's not true. We are gonna open it. Okay. Where is everyone? The harbor is empty. Oh. Most of the guys are down at the gates, keeping the scabs from coming in. We're on a strike. The whole union is. You don't have to work when you're on strike. Ha! We haven't worked for two months now. Two so months? no one is working? <laughs> Not everyone is down there, of course. Mr. Evrar is in his office, where he always is. That's who we need to Luke talk with, right? The gate. But Titus and his boys no, I think this guy is a good guy. Trouble ...and Evrar sent him on a nice vacation. For a week or so. Oh. Wait. Maybe that has to do with the guy that died? I mean... What kind of trouble did this... Titus and his friends got into. Oh, I'm not really supposed to talk about that. That's so perfect. Union business. That's a good one, Uranus. Him and his boy stirred up something in town. Probably drank too much and got into a fight or something. Oh. I heard Mr. Everett telling them to take some time off. Okay, but what? Did they actually do? I guess the boys got a bit too rowdy and had to let out some steam. I don't really know the details. Well, that's just how boys are, you know. <laughs> I haven't been in a fight since I was in middle school. Easy, Leo. Let's keep this on the hearties. Look at him. It's not going to be anything useful anyway. Don't fight it. Better to go with the flow. Do we listen to rhetoric? Because l l rhetoric has been a kind of like a bitch. Hey, welcome. Yeah, rhetoric. Too rowdy, Leo. What kind of fight did they get into? Did they kill a mercenary? Yeah, let 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 the people talk. I think two is best. I remember I was the runt of the class. <laughs> the bigger boys always used to pick on me. You see, I had a bit of a temper back in the day. Flew off the handle like nobody's business. But Mr. Evra and his brother always came to help. Once they beat old Noel Becker so bad he needed stitches on his head. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> will never start in another fight with anyone after this. Ha <laughs> ha! Mr. Evra and Mr. Edgar are real nice guys, mister. You should go talk to Mr. Evra. I'm sure you'll be good friends. Oh, yeah. Friends with everyone around here. <coughs> you'll never get in anything useful out of him. That's it's bullshit. Good he found out Everard has a brother called Edgar, and he helped Leo. Okay. So, Evergard has a brother called Edgar, and he helped Leo. Okay, I think we, we are good. Bye-bye now. We got it.
I know. Some kind of superstar. High five! Nice. They say the world isn't ready for a rock and roll cop. No one wants their state monopoly on violence to be mixed with celebrity worship. They claim to know it would be dangerous for detectives to rise to the ranks of demigods and have sexual encounters with barely legal cover girls. It would be insane, they say. To all this, you say, fuck off and die, in a cool voice. You people have no idea how good these cops are gonna get. They're gonna crack 20 cases a day. In the future, cops will be like astrophysicists, or prime ministers, or prophets. And you're the first one. Oh my god. Was this a good decision? Well, it was a decision, and we lost one to logic. Price of self-delusion. Hey. Uh Okay. Okay, this is fine. We got this. Who needs logic when you're Rockstar? Exactly. The people are just jealous. Okay. Let's go. There's no such thing as good or bad decision. Hey, Yaki. Hey, hey. Oh, no. A taxidermy fish that tells the time? Before you is a walrus of a man seated behind a large desk. He looks up from his work, not the least bit surprised okay. to see you. With great effort, he straightens himself up in his chair, yet says nothing. He simply He's stares. smiling, he's friendly. What a happy boy. Are you in charge of the dock worker, sir? Welcome, Mr. Dubois, Mr. Kitsuragi. It's good of you two to stop by. Please, have a seat. I'm Everard, Everard Clare, head of the Debardes Union here in Martinez. I'd offer you my hand, but unfortunately, my health prevents me from getting up. You understand? He looks extremely comfortable. The tiny folding chair, on the other hand, looks like a torture device. You go ahead, detective. Whatever he has in store for you, it can't be good, he thinks. I'll do my best. Oh, panic. Forget about that. What's with this Dubois stuff? You're getting some seriously bad vibes from that name. Okay. I feel like if I ask this, is is bad. Because... I'd rather stand. Please, Mr. Dubois, let us converse in a civilized manner, as equals. Take a seat. I insist. Yeah, but the chair seems like a He's bitch. He's trying to throw you off your game with this Dubois nonsense. Don't give him the pleasure. I don't sit. It's kind of my thing. Very well, Mr. Dubois. I respect a man with strong convictions. Ha! I, too, have convictions. One of which is that I will not engage <laughs> with any man who won't face me at eye level. Bitch. Should you find yourself more amenable in the future, I'd gladly resume our conversation. But until then, I'm afraid I must ask you to leave. You're no titan of volition, buddy. He's got you in a fork. Sit down or leave. Fuck! Do we sit? We're gonna be sitting like a dog. He's gonna... Pss, 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 pss. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Or do we leave? No, we take a fucking seat. Excellent, Mr. Dubois. I can see that you are a reasonable man he and reasonable him. men. Reasonable men can be of great use to one another. Remain serious. So tell me, how can the head of the Debardes Union 
help a representative of the Revishal Citizens Militia today. The chair you're sitting on has got to be the most uncomfortable I chair lost in the world. health? It's violating your backside. Because I'm sitting on a fucking chair. Oh, uh, by the way, I heard you got a rather rude reception from a certain Lawrence Gart. Some people have no manners, it pains me to say. This should take care of that nonsense. It should be sufficient to cover your expenses for a few days and patch over your differences with a cafeteria manager. Go ahead, take it. This man knows everything about my life? Hey, that's 25 real. That's good money. Think of all the stuff you could. Is this my my drug addicted brain being happy? And wanting to spend my money on drugs? I think I'm fucking good. I I have a bad feeling about taking money from this guy. Or maybe I should ask. Wait, you know Gert? Yes, I know Lawrence. He's a real character. No union man in him. A real piece of work, that boy is. With a grin, he points to the checker game. It's like you're on a game show. At least don't thank him for it. Three or four. Do we take the money? I don't think we need money. We have six money. We're good. I think three is better, more civilized. Keep it, I'm good. Okay, okay. I respect a man with principles. No yep. handouts then. Yep. Now, I'd like to set your mind at ease about one other matter. <laughs> Valerian. Your lost gun. Let me assure you, union people are on it as we speak. I've I'll... got my best hounds looking for that lost gun. His this is a tractor. Like lips move, but... All you hear is an echo. Lost gun. Lost gun. Lost gun. Okay. Okay. This is a threat. The world is swallowed by a black hole of fear. Only two words escape its gravitational pull. I agree. Pool. Lost and gun. Oh God. Why didn't you think of this before? Cops have... Guns! Where's yours? This doesn't worry me at all. Who cares if I have lost my gun and the love of my life? Fuck love. This is your gun. This is serious. You don't need a gun. We can still have fun without the gun. The fun doesn't need to stop. Have some right now. Oh, no. Are you all right, Harry? You seem anxious. Don't be. Everything's going to be all right. It is not going to be all right. It's not like you left it loaded. You didn't lose a loaded gun. Local children aren't out there playing with it right now, pointing it into their own mouths. It's in a safe place. I just know it. I have a feeling everything's going to be all right. Don't panic. Wait. Maybe we should do one first. Can we do one and then do two? Can we do one and two? No? Okay. Okay. Uh... We calm. Calm! 
Who does he Come! Ronnie the Fuck! You Fuck! Have no lost gun or unpaid bill or forgotten name. You're Let's fucking go! You're probably more corrupt than him. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Okay. <sighs> the fat man does the same sinking deeper into his chair than one would think is physically possible. <laughs> he seems to be enjoying your little display. Good. Now lean in with some corruption. Listen, Everett, Paul. We both know what makes the wheels of the world turn. That we do, Harry. Let them say what they will about you and me. We're both born fighters. Shit. <clears throat> I think two is better. Because it shows that uh, I understand his schemes. One, uh, one, I, I just sound naive. Nice bit with the chair, by the way. <laughs> A good way to keep your guests on edge. Why? Thank you. It's always nice when a fellow professional appreciates your work. That's it. Now kick back and add a final flourish for dignity. Fuck. Did I... Is this... Is this fucked up? Two? I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. I don't know if I want to side with this guy. He seems like a major asshole. But... One? Can we decide later? I think one. He's a useful asshole. I, I, I don't want to side with him. Okay, w what does tree mean though? I don't know. I really... The problem is... I think one is the... Is saying no, right? Shit. He knows about my missing gun, so if I tell him to visit me down the station... I don't know. I'm not saying I'm corrupt, I'm irrational. You strike me as a reasonable man, Harry. I like that in a law man. Let's cut to the chase, shall we? What can Everard Clare do for you? I think we'd like to ask you a few questions. Don't you think so, detective? 
Oh shit. Questions will show him who's boss. I think we're still in control. Whatever you do, don't ask him about the gun first. You don't want him thinking you're scared. We could do one because that woman told us about the union being involved with the drug trade. That he he has knowledge about our gun, but we have knowledge about the the local drug trade. Thank you for providing solids in both times. Oh, I don't hey. cross the rainbow bridge yesterday, Lewis. Oh, like once I'm so sorry, friend. I I hope things get better soon. Thank you for the 41 months of support. Thank you. Shit. I think one. Yes, I have no real knowledge on that though, but. But I could deceive him that I do? I want to talk about the hanging. Oh, of course. That's your main thing here. That's why you're in Martin Ains. I know everything that goes on around here, and I would love to discuss it with you. I mean, it's no secret that the lynching is connected to the strike. So much to talk about. Honestly, it's been weighing on me so heavily. I understand you need to interview me. <sighs> Do we say nothing? I sense there's a but, but. <sighs> yeah, here's the thing, right? Maybe there isn't a but. Buts are great. I feel like maybe saying nothing is better. But there's a thing that's been keeping me up at night. I want to talk about the hanging. I mean, if we could just calmly talk, exchange information, we could blow this thing wide open. Yes, that sounds good. Let's do that. But I can't think straight with this thing weighing on me. You're police officers, aren't you? I have a crazy idea. You guys are basically door-opening machines, incredibly talented at opening doors. I think we should bring Kim in. Because I feel like he's asking us for a favor that we might not want to be easily... I, he's not even asking us for a favor. He's forcing us into doing him a favor. Hey, Finas, hey. So... If he's asking us... Either two or three. Fuck. He's definitely blackmailing me. Kim, is that true? Are we opening door machines? I'm not sure I understand. If you're asking us to break down someone's door, it's not going to happen. Ha! Come now. I just need you to go open a little door for me and leave it unlocked. A simple thing. Absolutely nothing shady about it. Huh? The stars aligned into a cosmic frown here. He has your fate decided. Bide your time, however, and let the stars continue their course. And that frown shall turn into a smile. Only if you play along. Fuck.
No, I think we should do. I, uh, we should do one, two, or three. Maybe three. Whose door is it? Oh, no one's. It's just a weasel. A weasel lives there. Nothing for you to worry about. So he wants probably me to kill somebody. Ooh, what do you mean by a weasel? A loud blabbering weasel. When weasels feel no one is watching, they start find acting face, foolishly. Find your face, find your face, find your face. Crow, thank you. Thank you for the three months. Mwah, that's so kind of you. Just thank you. There, unlock the door and leave it open. It's been such a burden on me, Harry. I just you want really this to be it. over Sound. so I can discuss business with you. Thank you so much for supporting three months in advance of Blackjack and the hookers for my bunny. Thank you. Mwah. Thank you. Gosh. Why don't you just open it yourself? Harry, I'm a very busy man, and more importantly, I don't have that extraordinary physique you do. You look like you could run around all day. You want to send someone a message that the police are working for you. I repeat, I'm a very, very busy man, Mr. Kitsaragi, and therefore I must occasionally enlist outside help. So what will it be, Harry? I'm tempted to the four, because then I'll tease him, but... I'm kind of scared of this guy. I bet you don't even know anything about the hanging. Harry, my dear friend, I am what people call a local bigwig. I know everything that goes on in Martinez. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm sweating. I think f six. Is this Google? Yeah, he too knows everything. You guys want to accept? Okay, here's the thing. We can accept the task, so we look into it. But maybe we find a way to help whoever he wants shot. But then... I think... I feel like if... Kim said no. And I feel like I should respect... His decision. Oh, fuck. I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, God, you guys. I can't accept this thing. Of course, Harry. I understand. But if that's the case, I don't think we'll ever find your gun. Even worse, we won't be able to speak like equals about the murder. Perhaps this was just bad timing for you. <sighs> know that you can always come back to me. I really hope Fuck. you do. For your sake, my sake, and for your gun's sake too. What a fucking piece of shit. Yes, we both understand what you meant. This may be the only way, he thinks. I won't hold it against you. In fact, we probably should reconsider later. We should ask about the last gun now. Kinda need to accept. I don't think I need to accept. I'm at Joyce, the company represent. No, maybe not.
You don't need to do anything. It's open. Okay. I don't know. I'm I'm scared. I, we might we can come back later, right? We might talk again later. I wanted to do one, but since I don't have enough, uh, I, maybe we should accept. I met Joyce, the company representative. Because I feel like I should talk with Joyce more and learn more about one and eight. And then and then we come talk with him. Wait. You need this to get in and out through the gate. Great. What then once you get stuck in here? Here. You're one of us now. A real red and white union man. Take care, Harry. Wait, we might be able to use this card for something. The only thing I need to do is investigate the murder. Oh, I have bad news for you. I didn't even interact with the body. Mister, I knew you'd be back to talk with old Leo here. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. It's like Lady Larice said when she opened a bathhouse in the basement of my apartment building. They can only get so far before they're aching to get back. And lots of folk really did keep coming back. I had some questions for you, if that's not too much trouble. No trouble at all, mister. No trouble at all. Do you like work that here? saying goes, wisdom withers if not shared. Yes, yes. Everybody needs a job, and this is mine. Hey, here's I'm Leonard, Leonard. By the way, Leonard Bellick. I'm like Mr. Edgar's right-hand man when Mr. Edgar is out of town, and Mr. Edgar's right-hand man when Mr. Edgar is a actually Miss Beaufort is the right-hand man, but she's a lady. <laughs> Who is this, Miss Beaufort? Oh, a real pretty lady with a skin like those Douay Sucre candy bars my missus likes so much. Them are real nice to suckle on once the dinner is done and me and the missus sit down besides the radio. But I can't listen to the radio all the time. There's so much to do around here and I'm always busy keeping things running here. Yes, I am. Stay on this Miss Beaufort topic. Hold on. Who is this Miss Beaufort you mentioned? Oh, Lizzie. She's Lizzie. real sharp too. Mr. Everett put her through some fancy school and everything, east of the river. Four years she was gone, and when she came back, she was all fancy and lawyerly. Huh. Who respects that word? That's obvious. But she's a real nice girl. Grew up in this here neighborhood. Knows everybody and gets along with everyone. Re For a fraction of a second, there's sadness in his eyes. If me missus and me was to have a child, I'd be real happy if she turned out like her. But she can't have kids. Oh. Dr. Lemaitre said so. And she knows about such things. Been a doctor for almost 50 years, she has. So Everett trained a lawyer named Miss Beaufort. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> Do are we nice to him? I think so. Maybe three. Because we could be implying that if he didn't help the boss man so much, the boss man maybe could I think three is better because so he feels like he has some power to stop this some shit that he's not willing to stop. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this place would totally fall apart. Oh uh, is is it a bad thing to say? Oh, no, no. I think I misunderstood this. I think like I'm being an asshole to, he to Leo. I think you're doing a great job around here, Leo. Yes, this place really seems to run like clockwork. Keep it up, Leo. Okay. Well, thanks a lot. Coming from you, it means a lot, really. Oh, he's so sweet. 
Sometimes I feel some of the guys don't really get how much I bust my ass for them here. But you guys are all right. The white uh... rectangle on your clothes might not mean an awful lot in Martinez, but the recognition from an authority figure made Leo's day. Ah, oh, that's so sweet. Okay, let's go. High five! I'm glad we went with two. I, I think I was misreading three. Whoa. Wait, what's this? Can I buy drugs? Is this locked? Okay, we need to go to the body. Hold on. You're back before the cargo container. Can we fast travel? No, in game. In game drugs. Yeah, Leo, Leo, Leo is nice. Where can we use that card that he gave us? Oh, to exit in that door. Wild penises? Oh, never mind. No, I didn't level up yet. I, I forgot I was investigating uh, a crime. So I actually forgot to interact with a body. The already familiar. Can I redo this? Should I re talk with that guy we beat up? Hold on. Worst cop? Hey! Oh, I have to unlock it? I can't believe I forgot to interact with the body. Can you believe that? The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. You seem to be holding your breath. A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps in even through your clenched nostrils. Fuck. Do you guys think we can do two? The smell is repulsive. It pushes in from your mouth. More instant and more familiar than anything you expected. More fever than odor. It fills your mind, flushing you from within. Let's try to walk away. <gasps> Too late. It's impossible to keep in. Your body curls and pushes it out, burst by burst, until a pool of vomit lies under your feet and your throat stings from the stomach acid. I'm sorry. Now, nah, fucking corpse. Keep it. Thanks. The hangover is clearly making this worse for you. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. Ah. Uh... Okay, where do we get ammonia? There's a frit nearby. Maybe ah. they have some in the apothecary. If they don't... There's a greenhouse here, and a Ooh. gardener with a wheelbarrow on the corner of the whirling in rags. If she works here, she might have something for the smell. Okay. Acquiring ammonia will provide a modifier to the white check. Modifiers make checks easier and allow you to retry them. Okay, so... This is the greenhouse that he, he mentioned? I know. I, I, I don't know what I was thinking. Ammonia. You're hungry after seeing a dead body? Yeah, but... Wait, maybe here? This wasn't visible later. A colorful display of cigarettes and alcohol. There. Drugs! In that dark green glass. All in vain. The great flowing river of warmth 
Wine, alcohol. Beer, alcohol. Love, alcohol. No. A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine Morale. bottles, nasal sprays, and blister packs. They all bear the Saint Baptiste Pharmaceutics logo. Wait, do you have any ammonia? Yeah, there's like an ampule somewhere. Okay, I want you to buy some. Okay, don't like overdo it or something. Okay, also let's buy some uh, Noza Noza bag. Okay, here. I hope Saint Baptiste makes you feel better or something. Okay, thank you. We we done. Electric chemistry is literally you. <laughs> In the fish, thank you so much for the one year of support. That's so kind of you. Thank you. Mm, thank you. It's okay. It's okay. We got this. We got this. Okay, we need to take the drug. Uh Okay. Can I sell his... How do I use the ammonia? There, he still is. Looking right through you. With his okay. eyes. Okay, let's the try again. Is entirely dedicated. The ammonia only makes it worse. The combination forces tears out of your ducts. You manage to keep it in once. Jesus Christ. The second time... Not so much. When the vomiting is done, your cheeks are wet with tears. It's not my day! Are you okay, officer? The weight is reassuring, like a crenel on solid fortification. Pat, pat, pat. You're facing tough odds here. It's aggravated further by alcohol withdrawal. I don't know what to do. I just feel bad for him. I don't know what to do. Why can't I keep it in, if I have been a cop all my life? I've seen captains puke their guts out. It never gets easier. You never get used to the smell. Every Monday is cadaver day. Throw up, investigate. Throw up, initial autopsy. Throw up, baguette. Then drive to the station. Maybe throw up on the way there, if you didn't bag the thing tight enough. You seem to be fine. I think I've lost my sense of smell. Not being hungover helps, too. Oh, fuck. What do I do? Am I fucked now? This is bullshit! I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be a cop. Can we do something else? Or should I tell him to do it without Hi Pollock, welcome back. Shit. Can't we do something else? I think I want to try something else right now. That's probably a good idea. Clear our head. But before we can do that, you need to get your shit together. Okay. We should go talk to the locals. Find something else to do while the wind changes. It's pretty bad right now. You've gained a thought. When this dialogue is over, go to your thought cabinet and internalize it for special bonuses and effects. Give it half an hour. Get yourself together. Then come back and... Yes, then. What thought did he give me? Your shit is a part. And it's harder unbecoming. Shit compressor. Shit. 
Jesus. Okay. Should I talk with Kuno again? Have you come to make your offering to Kuno? Nope. Maybe I can talk with this girl. Kuno, the pig's getting pretty close to me. Come to snuff my shit out, I think. Looks like it's time for me to go, Kuno. Pigs come to take me in. I just want you to ask some questions. I'm going away for a long, long time, Kuno. Going away for life. What's going on there? Fuck are you trying to pull, pig? Fuck. Maybe I should just leave. Listen, child, that corpse made me puke twice. I was wondering why you don't... Don't what? Go fuck yourself? Oh, man. Shit. Ah, oh, frick. I think one is... is... I'm gonna to get fucked in the ass again. Child, converse with me. Murder was the case, was the case they gave me. Yeah. Nobody wants to talk with me. Nobody. This trash container is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says, whirling in rags. There's something in there, not necessarily connected to the case, but still. Why am I looking at you, trash container? You're just a trash container. Well, it is a container. Maybe you're prioritizing it. Lieutenant, what do you think it could be in there? Trash, food waste from the cafeteria. They lock these containers to keep the derelicts from flocking in. Yes, but I feel like there's something in there. What do you mean, feel? It's just a hunch. Maybe somebody threw something in there? Mm hmm How do you get the lock open? We could try using a pry bar. There's one in my motor carriage. Or oh! Or? Or we could ask for a key from the manager of the whirling in rags. He probably has one. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Uh, let's go. Isn't this his car? Before you stands a motor carriage. The bodywork is covered it looks in blue awful. and black livery bearing the number We're cars? 57. In real life, that ever looked like this? This must be the infernal machine that tore you from oblivion. The Caprice Kinema motor carriage. Open the door. In the cabin, you are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, a pull-out toolbox under the seat, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. Okay, let's pull out the toolbox. The metallic drawer slides out from under the seat. You think this is sweet? Your car the looks like this? Need Take what you I'm need, so officer. sorry. It's going to be a long case. I'm not protective of my tools. Like He's clearly a little protective of his tools. But what can you do? Work is work. Um. Ooh, let's take the pry bar. The pry bar feels nice and cold in your hand. Heavier than you'd think. Useful for opening all sorts of doors and lids. Let's take the chain cutters. The handles are long and sleek. Snap, and the flashlight. Snap. It's robust. Where the lets you see things in the dark you would otherwise awesome. miss. The pull-out toolbox slides back into okay. the nest. Preheater gauge casts a warm glow on the steering levers. Tap on the, the full preheater gauge. Floor. I just feel like I would do that. As you tap on the gauge, the indicator pin jerks as if startled. It's in the large orange sector, indicating the engine is warm. Next to the gauge hey. is a red switch labeled heat. Heat. There's no use pressing the heat button. It won't start without the ignition key. Okay. Translation. We're not going anywhere right now. Alternative <laughs> translation. Don't even think you can drive my MC. <laughs> okay, Kim, I got it. Here we close. Okay. Let's try 
But here is the thing, right? If I pry this open... I might look like a criminal. This trash container is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says, Whirling in rags. Okay, I'll just ask for the key. Legendary 14? Oh, this door was closed. Ooh. Hi, hi, Peanuts. How are you doing? Thank you for the three months. Mwah, thank you. Oh, I need to equip it? Oh. Okay. Maybe we can go back to that racist dude and just hit him with the pry bar. Maybe we can beat Kuno up with the pry bar. Oh, that's rude. This trash container is locked. The slide. Hold on. I also have the clothes. This trash container. Let's is go! The fourth time isn't happening. You've jammed the pry bar under the lid, but it just isn't bending. Everything I try to do gets fucked. Hang from the... No. Is this a good idea? Hang from the pry bar without your... Hold on. There's a creaking sound as the pry bar slips under the lid. You hang from it like a moron, huffing and puffing. Clearly the technique is wrong, but nothing else comes to mind. <sighs> The fuck kind of matter is this fucking shit? Nah, I just kicked the container. Unsatisfying. Hurtful. You hear a ringing sound, <coughs> but not quite hollow. The can <sighs> seems to be full. That's it. I can't pry it open. Let's ask the manager for the key. This is clearly not working. How? Why can't I see the odds of succeeding? It's fine. It's fine. I, I've... I, I, I don't have a... The man with the unimpressive beard notices you. I, I just... There's just he no point. The ledger he was holding and turns to... I don't know. Point. Mr. Gart, right? Hi, hi. You run this place. Yes. I am Kim. He Kisura, doesn't want to talk with us. Prison 57. This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Prison 41. Um. <sighs> I'll say nothing. You guys, you're bad influences. The Harbinger of Ruin! What? I am it. I have no idea what that means. I have been to the precipice. I have seen the end. What is this, a joke to you? Is this what you get when you call the police now? This guy? We've been waiting for a week here. Sir, I understand your concern, but we are here to do a job. And for us to do it, I need you to stay calm. Holy fuck! Yes, of course. For a moment, the man fidgets under the lieutenant's gaze. Then he gives in. I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene. But it also took you a while to call us. It was you who placed the call, correct? No, I only just got here. It was probably oh. Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm a Do you have her Oh, number? she's a... 
Is this a woman in the back? As a matter of fact, I do. Nice. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What, of Martinez? No, I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. I don't this know. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. <laughs> many, many cafeterias. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are, but as I said, many. I don't live here. I he... just used to work here. I... And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. You... I didn't imply that. Detective. Yes? I have everything. You? Um... Oh, you mean, do I have ask questions? Yes, yes. He means, do you have questions for me, like a police officer would? Why did Sylvie go away? She went away because none of your business. Defensive, huh? Have they not been telling you you're a cop? Am I not a cop? Everything's my business. Okay, you got me. She went away because of the dead body out back. And because I asked for her number. <gasps> That's why Sylvie went away. Appreciate that. Get rejected, bitch! Thank you. I'm not the only loser in town! Have five! Didn't go well? I asked an employee out. She didn't want to come, but felt obliged to. It was a bad idea. Now, what is so goddamn fascinating about that for you? It's got nothing to do with the lynching. Hmm... <gasps> Everything has something to do with ev I will sound like an asshole. Fine. Everything has to do with everything. Good for you. Uh, was there something else? I'd like to get back to what I was doing. Who killed him? I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. Did you kill him? What are you, crazy? Of course I didn't kill him. Are you a, the bartender? No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. He's very animated all of a sudden. This is clearly a touchy subject for him. Understood. I hope it is. <laughs> Let's go. A five! We leveled up! Not so fast. Oh, you owe God. me 130 real. <laughs> what the, the fuck? No one is saying. The multi-pattern necktie you found tied to the ceiling fan can talk. No one. It must be merely imagination. But... Let's bail! Time to push the eject button! Sounds like a responsibility! You don't like those! One moment you're running like the wind, then you've suddenly turned around and are giving him the finger, furiously, with both hands. Why? The lady in the wheelchair is right behind me, isn't she? That's true. Yes. And it's worrying. But let's not fixate on it. Look at that stupid bartender instead. He has no idea what's going on. Why did I do you this? And your fuck you fingers floating in the Why air. did I have to use Bartons both of my hands to flip him up? Why both? Watch out! Oh no. Everything goes dark. <laughs> you guys, I can get shit done! I fail every roll, I fuck everything up! I am fucking sorry! Back so soon. <gasps> Thank you.
This did not need to happen. I gave no such commands to my body. Those are mysteries of the spinal cord. The spinal cord no. has yet to reveal itself to you. Its mysteries are unholy mystery. I don't know. That just comes off as lazy effort recapitalizing the antics of a shrambling drunk. If it comes off like that, it's because it is. And you are. I was wrong to let you go. I should have kept you here. Is it bright where you are? Is it terrifying? Have you felt the love? It's okay. It's gonna be fine. It's okay. It doesn't look so, sweetie. Are you okay? Oh, she's okay. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, God. Thank God she's fine. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, I thought I killed this innocent woman. No, you have sustained a trauma to your lower neck. In addition, you have strained your left trapezius muscle. Pain surges down your back when you move. Uh, no. Are you okay? The chair took the brunt of it. Don't worry. Oh. Are you sure, ma'am? Yes, yes. Check on him. Sir, I didn't, I didn't mean for this to happen. I'm sorry. This has always been a cop-friendly place. <gasps> the drinks are on the house, okay? There were a lot of drinks on the tab. I still have to charge you for three nights and the broken window, though. Uh, that's a hundred square. Oh, hell yeah! High five! He's shaken. Barton now, and he'll cave in. Oh, 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 oh! Fuck! Do it, do it! We do it! I won't pay for that window. Ouch. Uh, 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 you just shot me and I'm hurt. Uh. Okay, fine. I'll take it off your bill. Sleep in a post-apocalyptic hellhole if you want to. Just know I won't give you another room. <sighs> Thank you for your cooperation. Cool. Not entirely cool. You still owe me 60 real for three <gasps> nights. If you don't have it by tonight, I can't let you back up Dude! There. We went from owing 130 to 60? <laughs> that was failing up so hard! High five! And for God's sake, watch out for yourself. Oh, I hope I keep failing miserably. Jesus! Volumetric. Bizarre scientific news from Revachol West today, where okay. a police officer's shit has been observed at a pressure of around 495 gigadecimals. These metallic hydrogen <sighs> levels of shit togetherness were thought to exist only at the center of collapsing stars, not um. law officials. It remains to be seen how long the shit's singularity lasts. Oh, God. It's bugged. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We got our shit together. Okay. We got our shit together. We good. By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank. And this place sure isn't it. Does my character look like a creep? Well, yeah, he also acts like one. Do I have one? But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. I don't know, near south maybe? You don't really know, do you? I have a vague black... Image. A vague blackened image doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay. He looks like a superstar. Run out of money.
Could I trace the way back somehow? The exact street, the exact number on the building? Do we get Hobocop? I live in a dumpster. I don't care. Fuck everything. Hobocop. Now let's try to remember. Let's try to remember. You can try. Run some addresses in your head when you get the time. Maybe a street or an apartment will appear. No, it's fine. Okay. Gee. Let's study that thought. Let's also get the key from him. Can I help you? Um. Is the trash container out back yours? Mine? No, it belongs to the whirling in rags. Thank you for clearing the debt. Why do you keep the container locked? Why? To keep the hobos and drunks out. That's why. And the neighbors too. They put their trash there and they don't pay for the garbage car. I thought as much. And are you the only party with access to the trash container? I like this too. Well, yes. Us and the garbage disposal company. It seems a little callous, doesn't it? Something stirs in you. I wonder what this feeling is. Prod at him and find out. Ah, yeah, yeah. Do we do it or do we just ask for the goddamn keys? We need those keys. <laughs> what do you need them for? It concerns the keys. Please cooperate. No, it's okay. Just bring them back once you're done, please. Yeah. I feel like if I... The guy already got rejected, all right? The guy feels bad. Yeah, rhetoric is like... Dude, uh, I, I have no memory of my life. I just know that I woke up drunk. I tried to... What did I tell that woman in the beginning of the game? I want to fuck with you. The slide with Key. a well-oiled crack. The lock pops open. Have five. Don't. Maybe you shouldn't. I'll fucking do it. The smell of rotten food <laughs> rises to greet you. You see soggy cartons, dirty rags, and organic waste. We're just in time. <clears throat> this hasn't been emptied for over a week. Okay, look under the fox boxes of cartoons. You see milk. An egg rest with one broken egg in it. Hey, hey. Some pasta wrapper. I want you to have fuck with you, exactly. Feels familiar. So basically, one of the first words my character said to a human being was, I want to have fuck with you. A box falls into pieces in your hands. Batiste Sole cereal. There are plastic pasta packages below. And turbo noodles. Nothing turbo much, noodles? However. We could eat that. Pick the hags. Among the threadbare kitchen towels, something catches your eye. A pair of denim trousers. Pants? As the legs of the slime-covered jeans begin to unspool from the garbage. No, the I didn't. They laughed at me. Fills the, air. the victim's clothes? Cadaver in odor is faint. Mm. If these belong to the deceased, he lost the they were still in the early stages of decay. Drop them in here, officer. Okay. Guitar marked blue jeans. Pockets. Empty. Or emptied. He wore them with a belt, too. A white belt. The loops appear stretched, but... The belt is missing. That's it. Do you see anything else in there? I have another bag here. Okay. Something slimy catches your eye. Do it, do it! I mean, we're already here, so reach for it. A drab, long-sleeved shirt. half huh? colored appears from the food waste, dripping with pus. This is a military type overgarment. No label or serial number. This is the kind of rib knit shirt that's worn over light armor to conceal it in an urban Hey scenario. Liz, how are you doing? Anything more? The rest of the rags are just kitchen variety waste. A yellow old mug that catches your eye. But other than that... A thrown out mug, a mug at the saw. All right. We should go to Gart again and ask if he knows who put the clothes in the trash. It could be as simple as someone from the hostel cleaning the yard. Or that one. I'd advise against confronting that force. Uh, 
Oh, gosh. I want to have fuck with you. Luz, if somebody came to you and said, I want to have fuck with you, what would you say? What would all of you guys say if somebody say, I want to have fuck with you? Somebody you have never met before. You think someone from the whirling might have been involved, maybe? Not really. All we know is the victim's clothes are in the trash. The lid was locked and his establishment had the key. It's just Marry a small them. thread. We need to ask the kids who put them here. The fuck's he on about? Kids? You hear that, Kuno? He thinks you're an infant or something. See? Yes. The lieutenant nods, then looks back into the trash container. Search the food waste. It's just organic waste, cold and slimy on your hands. Apple and potato pills, mostly. Unidentified sludge and the occasional chicken bone thrown in for good measure. But hey, nothing. It's nothing. Nothing more to see here. What's this? What? <laughs> what? A blue piece of plastic sticks out from the apple peels. It's shiny. Looks like the corner of something. Pick. Something larger. A clipboard. Nice. A blue plastic clipboard with moist papers hanging from it. Moist. They look badly damaged, but you can still make out forms and notes written in a man's handwriting. Oh God, did I write this shit? Officer. Is that your paperwork? <laughs> no, it can't be! Yes, it is. Look. This plastic has the RCM street grid on it. You've even got an autopsy form. If you don't mind me asking, how did this get in the trash? It has a four bone equality to it. Maybe I needed to lose it for the great bloodletting to begin. What are you talking about? I speak it the tongue? What does this mean? Do it though, also thorough inventories. You should take stock of your notes. Make sure it's all there. Official notes contain informants' names. If some of it has fallen into the hands of the RCN's adversaries, bloodletting may well ensue. Okay, I'll do that. It would also not hurt to start taking notes on the case. Now, tell me what your eagle eyes see. Or are we finished? Some items, such as the ledger you found, are interactable. Go oh, to your inventory and select the Well, I'm getting the mug. Paperwork. You pick out a broken mug with an oddly racist depiction of the yellow man frolicking in saffron. <gasps> the racist mug. Even the mugs are racist in this game. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. I maybe I shouldn't have taken it. I feel judged. The container sounds a muffled gong. Wait, wait, I, 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 I didn't know. I didn't know. Was that bad? Oh, I didn't know. I, I thought that the first option was worse. Oh, fuck me. I'm so dumb. My day is ruined! That's one thing I'll do. I didn't know what to do! I, I couldn't put it back! Can I open the lid again? The smell of rotten food rises to greet you. You see soggy cartons, dirty rags, and organic waste. I didn't know what to do! Okay, close the lid. The container sounds a muffled gong. 
I feel like at this point, I just need to crawl into the trash can and just remain there until I'm dead, decomposed, and they throw me out. It's the legend found in the trash. A pitiful cabbage of white and yellow papers hanging from plastic board, barely held together by a metal clip. This sad display is made complete by the faint smell of urinal cleaner. <laughs> Anything else? There's a piece of toilet paper, or is it cleaning tissue? No, it's toilet paper, desperately sticking to the back of the blue plastic clip. <gasps> I want to die. It's a metaphor for you below the pathetics terror do not look into its blue heart smell the ledger the acidic stench of rotting food is rubbed off on the cellulose it now forms the base of the experience this base surrounded by a faint air of spoiled meat the stuff of death itself and then sprinkled liberally with the citrus zest of toilet cleaner. Okay, inspect the toilet paper. It's just toilet paper sticking to the back of the plastic clipboard. You can take it off if you want. What do we do? What you guys wanna do? Two? You guys want to leave toilet paper on my work? I have like no self-respect anymore. No. We'll take it off. Still wet, the toilet paper peels off the plastic easily. All you have to do is shake it off with your finger and voila, the ledger now looks marginally better. An aluminium block runs the width of the board, biting down on the paperwork. Its crocodile teeth are the only thing keeping the papers together. A regular pencil, the tip worn down to nothing, has been attached to the clip. The surface is interrupted by a silvery sticker. It's rectangular, sparkling with iridescence. You don't know how you didn't notice it before. Hey, listeners, what is this? What? That thing, it's a halogen watermark. We use it for adding information to RCM property. Oh, how can I read it? Any capable light with the right wavelength will do. Like, for example? All RCM vehicles have headlights designed to reveal nice! watermarks. Nice! Mine too. This means you can read the watermarks if you just turn the light. Let's go! It's aluminium. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. 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 While a bunch of sodden papers sag from the clipboard in okay. your hand. Okay, let's look at the clipboard. It's made of dark blue plastic, hard enough to beat someone to submission with. The Who knows? are rounded, however. The U4 size board feels thick and heavy in your hand. Light shimmers on its wet surface. On the back, you see the embossed letters RCM. Okay. Is shake the ledger? Something rattles inside, ever so lightly. Is there a hidden compartment? Peek! The plastic shimmers like lapis lazuli, but it is not see-through. You cannot see to its center. How can I open it? How would I open it? With your hands, you four-sized pages hang from the clip, screwed to the top of the board. Is not what you end up doing. You squeeze the plastic to slide it open, but nothing happens. Then you bend it some, then you crack it. it. The goddamn thing is stuck. I can't do anything! I just can't! Like, like, everything I touch, everything I do, just, just, I give up. I give up. I, I can't open a clipboard. I can't do anything. I just can't! I just can't! The ledger quivers in your hand. As it shakes, the pages rustle. 
This pathetic mess suddenly afraid of you for some reason. They're not exactly white. They're yellowed in patches by sunlight and alcohol and covered in dense blue handwriting. Ink escapes into watercolor patterns, reaching its tendrils across entire pages. The paper itself is checkered with faint red lines forming short paragraphs. Once in a while, there's a red stamp that exclaims, case files commit to paper. The case files themselves are plenty. You count more than a hundred sodden, crumpled up, earmarked pages falling apart in your hands. They appear to be sufficiently organized and extremely dense, if mostly illegible. What's in there? What are they about? Work, strife, poverty, the Jamrock Quarter. These are handwritten logs of investigations dating back to January 51. Holy fuck! This year. The exact number is hard to estimate due to missing pages and an odd naming convention. But there are at least 20, God. maybe 30 cases undertaken. Not completed, mind you. It's the middle of March. You have attempted two cases a week on average. Ah. Uh. Fuck. Two cases a week. A good case load, Lieutenant. Huh? Two complex cases to undertake is a lot, yes. You really have to push yourself. I would not suggest it, lest you start making mistakes. Two cases a week seems to have been my load, Lieutenant. I'm not, sh I'm not sure I completed them. Two? That's a lot. I didn't mean to say you are making mistakes, by the way. That was presumptuous of me. Holy fuck. Do you guys think we were working too much so we wouldn't think about the shit in our life? Until we started replacing the work with alcohol? And getting drunk until we were passed out? I burned out, all right? I'm sure I made plenty of mistakes. It's okay. We all make mistakes. Shit. God knows I've made my share. He tries not to think of them. Aww. Like a fan of girls, the checkered papers dry in your hand. The handwriting is extremely dense, if mostly illegible. Okay. Uh, a naming convention? Yes. It He's so nice. Employer, He's so sweet. Shall we say, robust yet literary system. Each investigation has its case number written on the margins. Yet, still more tellingly, most are accompanied by a name. A title, one might say even. One that draws inspiration from snoop fiction and vespertine cop show staples. Am I stupid? Like, uh, is, like my character takes so long to assess, like, the basic, basic minimum information? Oh my, they're written in capital letters too. Yes, all caps. One is called the Next World Mural. Another, the Square Bullet Hole Murders. Another yet, the unsolvable case. Others what? appear more lighthearted. The guys on a couch in an unexpected location. Porn? And the murder at the Uka parlor. Even the rare article Hooker? free collapsing tenement. Murder features prominently throughout. It's going to take an effort to piece these case files together, but it can be done. Kim. Once you're done inspecting them up close. My cases appear to employ some kind of naming convention. You mean the alphanumeric? Oh, Office hookah! Precincts, ah, I remember Valeria's hookah from Baldur's Gate. Uh, no, I mean a non-numeric one with titles. Oh, you mean the titular? Yes, well, so do I. In our defense, almost everyone in the RCM does. Why is that? It's a holdover from the early days of the RCM. Right after the revolution, when the organization had little idea how to do things. It persists in an unofficial capacity. Officers use these titles to refer to their work among themselves. I have... I seem to have named the case the Square Bullet Hole Murders. Again, in your defense, I seem to have named one... The man with the hole in his head. That was a real person. His death was real. Still, I named it that. To amuse myself. I pray his loved ones never find out. <laughs> what happened to him? Rail spiked through the head. He died. 
It was a workplace accident. Oh. Oh. I have to open an official case. Is there room? There is. For precisely one more. Fifteen pages near the end remain untouched by the damage. Let's go! Let's go! Forms a structure of passages. Commit your paper. To subtasks to a... Sadly, the letter only comes with an old, worn-down lead pencil. It's unfitting of this monumental event. I think I you Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Do I use the pencil or the paper? I feel like the pencil is good because if I do a mistake, I can erase it and try again. However, somebody could take my ledger and erase my notes. Simply, I'll just use the pencil. Kim, do you have a pen? The lieutenant looks at his blue notebook. Two fat, shiny pens hang from the binder, like large caliber bullets. I know the an ammo belt. Kim and 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 us, we could make a great TV series, right? It's You're right, Oporik. Incriminating. He has little choice but to give you one, although he really does not want to. He is not really saying anything, just standing there, looking at them. Not even Kim, the kind of soul in this universe. <laughs> can I? Can I have one? Know that I give this to you with resentment. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. The tasks you've completed flow out of the blue oblong pen in a brash freehand uncannily <gasps> similar to the rest of the letters. The wording comes easily. It's almost robotically simple. A language developed for mental rigor and simplicity. Inspect the victim's body. Interview the cafeteria manager. It's not exactly poetry, but poetry would be out of place. Across the ones I finished. A satisfying slash sounds across the paper. You're done, it seems to say. And you, and you. Things to be done, and things already done. The composition of reality. This okay. This is an extremely useful tool for a detective of the citizens' militia. Lieutenant. Now, all that remains. Have you by any name chance named case. our case? No, actually. Any ideas? Okay, let's go. The furries are at home in the mirror. Shit on a stick. Okay, help me name. Come on, four. Yes, the furries are at home in the mirror. You heard me. I think four is winning. Shit on a stick. It's simple and easy. Huh. Yes. I have to tell you, officer, I don't appreciate ironic titles. Furry. Other officers. I don't think I can say the word furry the other way. Finger. <laughs> Whatever way that is. Yes, yes, I get that it's a different word, but I can only say the word furry. I don't know how you say the other one. <laughs> They're not going to get it. They're going to think an idiot yes. and cock finger were on this case. So, do you have something less? Fun Sad. is outlawed with this guy. What a knock! Lua Kai, Lua High Five, Lua Jib, Lua Love, Lua Dance Hoy friends. Can't believe how long. <laughs> Jason, thank been. you so much for the 25 months. Thank you. Mwah. Fury. Oh, Fury. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So the Fury. The Furies are at home in the mirror. Uh, the setting sun. Yep, no, we'll try this one. Furies. Yes, well, I don't know. I have to be honest. I'm not experiencing the internal strife that it refers to. And could you make it less poetic somehow? Just a normal case name, you know? Yes, yes. You know what that normal name is. 
but it's so plain. Okay. Anything else, please. The setting sun. Okay, okay. It's a good name, but it has one problem. This case has nothing to do with the setting sun. Something more concrete, perhaps? <laughs> the hanged man! Great. That's great. That's actually what I was thinking, too. I'm going to start calling it the hanged man. It's good we sorted this out. I'm done. You don't exactly close them. So much as distance yourself from the smelly papers. Can They're I a little this further from your nose now. It's proving to be harder than expected. Jesus you Christ! You don't have the intellectual rigor to patch the quilt back together. Try again later. Yes? Check my settings. How do I activate my odds? Oh. Oh, I like. Uh. Detective mode? Yeah, the Twitch integration is not working. I tried to make it work, but it just doesn't give me a code to connect my game with Twitch. How you mean? Oh god, this is awful. Hold on. <coughs> this is better. Okay. We leave. <coughs> okay. We can do this now. I believe. He still is looking right through you with his white eyes. The body. Oh, we have skill points. Where? Ooh. <clears throat> uh, we need endurance, right? Nah, I kind of want to level up this. Not now, after I fail? Okay. Wait, 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 I need health. If I fail, I die. Okay, hold on. Jesus. At least I have money. It's fine. It's fine. A small cabinet on the... Okay. Here. I hope Saint. Thanks, Mom. You know what? We'll buy okay. another. Here. I hope Saint Batista. And another. Here. Okay. Can I do drugs to improve my endurance? A colorful display there, in that dark green glass. All in vain. The beauty, the truth. I'm obliged to inform you that I don't have money for drugs. Damage your health, but I guess you already know that. Uh, do you sell any under the count faces? No, Frit only sells. Le Shit. Worth a try. Uh, try overing. Yeah, I I don't think we can see odds. For some reason we could, but then we stopped being able to. Let's just go try it. Okay, how many of you bet that I'm gonna fail? There, he still is, looking right through you with his white eyes. The body but Hold on, we'll save. There, he still is. Look, as you breathe ah! in, the odor comes up. Survive! It's a spell of the mind telling you to run and your stomach to wring itself empty. With your hands at your side. Oh, let's go, let's go! Eyes squinting, you stand in it. Step closer. The man before you is naked, but for a pair of underpants and enameled boots. His skin is green, <laughs> marbled with decaying. Okay, okay, okay. And blotched by lividity. A uh, fading web of tattoos covers his chest and shoulders. Boots. The cargo belt used to fasten him to the branch above appears industrial in strength. The material appears to be ceramic. It's clean white stands <laughs> the in macarine. stark contrast 
God. The decaying flesh above the knee. I really miss the, the visual dice. Polymer socks. Yeah, let's check his boobs. Cutting. A fine array of interlocking yeah. plates covers them. Delicate and fragile. To be here. They feel alien hey, to the world. Hey, Thank you so much for the three months of support. Mm. Thank you. Happy These to have you here. Boots. They're armor. Possibly part of a larger set. Those aren't just boots, they're armor. Indeed. Technically speaking, these are sabatons, not boots. What kind of armor is this? Ceramic plate. Zirconium dioxide, most likely. This is where the make would be. Where? Under the hill. Fair weather. Fair weather model T500VE. I'm guessing that's vitreous enamel. This is advanced stuff. What happened to the rest of it? The locals probably scavenged it. It would be odd if he had more on after seven days. We should keep a lookout for these species. The armor could yield information. This is one thing he might actually know. Maybe he was just wearing those boots and there is no rest of the armor? No, I think he had something precious underneath the clothes. They had to remove the jeans and shirt we found to get to it. Oh. This kind of armor is often worn under fabrics. What if they told him to strip before they hung him? To demean him? They usually hang them completely naked for that. La puta madre. The Mazda, the Besmertis, and the like. Did he think this you one so still much? Has <laughs> Fucking talking about underpants. Kuno, shut the fuck up! Clearly, Kuno would like to interject something here, but there's not enough for him to hold on to. Ah. Uh, the material looks out of place here. It is. It's expensive. Yeah, he, he definitely worked for the we Union boss. similar material for our tactical units for years now. Oh, the constabulary is... How much are we talking oh. about? For a full set, about four years. Oh. For the Northwest region... Holy Revishaw, fuck! Bouncer, thank you so much! Thank you for supporting Blackjack and Hookers from heaven. Unadjusted for rank. ka -ching, baby? Thank you. Wait, my yearly pay is 5,500 real? Not too much, yes. Sounds funny, no wonder I can pay my hostel bill. It's a sorry situation, I agree. How could this man afford such expensive hardware? That's for us to find out. My initial report on the area suggests he was a security guard for the harbor company. But that's just hearsay. Does look pretty advanced for a security guard. I agree. This equipment is way beyond what a guard can afford. Knock on the boot. A small bell-like sound fills the air, like tapping on the side of a porcelain cup. The pry bar in your hand is itching for some action. I think this is a bad idea. What do you guys think? Do we use the pry bar on the boot? No. Sounds fragile. It's anything but. This material is a kinetic redistributor. Thank you so it much, It spreads kinetic energy horizontally, mm. from plate to plate, dissipating it entirely. See? Faint organic lines cover the plates where they separate into smaller ones. These plates then divide into smaller plates until there are hundreds of them altogether, like whirls of floorboards. The design looks organic. Influenced by highly resistant wood materials like lignum vitae and ebony, perhaps. What does this remind me of? If trees were made of porcelain, this is what their cross sections would look like. Run your finger over the line. The smooth, glossy surface fractures into ever more intricate interconnections, peaking on the right sabaton, where you notice the whorls are in the shape of a letter and number combination E50 100 1000. Looks there there's a serial number on the right sabaton. Good. Can you read it? A five! E fifty hundred one thousand. We have a make and a number. That's something. 
We can use the radio in my kinema when we're done. Either station can chase it for us. Okay, you guys, do we pull the boot off? I feel like Kim would judge us. We pull the boot off. Yeah, maybe... Back off and look at the corpse. The cadaver slowly twists on the cargo belt, his torso covered in tattoos, and Check extremities the belt. blotched. The hangman's knot is pulled tight by the weight of the corpse yeah. below. Yellow, hard-edged polyester cuts into Hold his on. neck. Above, a sliding buckle ties the belt to the branch. This is a steel-reinforced cargo lashing belt. Big brother of the regular cargo belt. It's used for tying cargo under six-rotor airships. Don't ask me how I know, but this is a lashing belt used for airlifting cargo. Airlifting? I thought it was used on lorries for strapping cargo to them. Apparently, this is a reinforcing kind for air transport. My brain tells me so. The local harbor uses six rotors to shuffle containers around. I get the sense they use whatever was on hand without being <laughs> Some crimes, Bowser. Thank you. Mm. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate your support. How did they even get him up there? A noose is one of those things that's easier to use one way around. Did they climb up using the kid's ladder? That ladder can't carry a grown no. man. No. I didn't see any splintering either, did you? I think they lassoed the branch, then pulled on the belt to close the buckle. Yeah, that makes sense. Could be. The shape of the branch supports the theory. Okay. They sure wanted him to stay up there. I was afraid it would be. Thin steel wiring, parallel strands. This makes getting him down more problematic than I had assumed. We're assuming dock workers from the harbor did it? The brief suggested as much. Politically motivated by the ongoing strike. Did you not get a briefing? Um... My past has undergone total annihilation. Nothing remains, Kim. My mother, the love of my life, certainly not a briefing. Okay, you should ask me for one the first moment we get. <laughs> okay, back off. The cadaver hangs from Spectre the cargo tattoos. Belt. An intricate web of blue lines stretches across the torso, from the right shoulder to the solar plexus. Each time they intersect, a small white star is formed in their crossing. Hundreds of fading asterisks riddle his skin. Their concentration is highest around his heart. His corpse is marked by stars. What will be m mine be marked by? Alcohol and heartbreak. <laughs> is this map of the night sky? <laughs> A map of the stars. I do see some similarity to astronomical charts. Oh, it's okay. I think we can ask both. Maybe. But this seems more particular. Customized somehow. Uh, smoking. I did. So when I go to the Twitch extension, it doesn't give me a code so I can put the code in the game. I actually even went... To and I tried talking with some of the mods in the Discord server of the game, but but they couldn't help. As if someone left that most of the night sky, filtering it through personal choice. But thank you for checking. The principle of this filter remains unknown to you. The thought dissipates, and you feel as though you were only half right. I'm missing something here. So am I. He takes a thin piece of milled aluminium from his coat pocket and pulls it open. Sounds like a sword being unsheathed. A small lens appears. Some sort of camera. I think we just let him work. Shit, Kuno! What the fuck is that? 
an instant color camera. He produces two metal capta and poles and clicks them into place. This is the first time he openly acknowledges the kid's existence. Huh? I have only two ampoules, so nobody move. I don't want to waste one. Okay. A sound. Ah! Followed by the breaking of a small ampoule of glass. You see streams of color pour onto the thick, glossy piece of paper rolling out. Are we all blind now? In case we need it. <sighs> what do we need this photo for? It contains insight to the victim's person. By his build, I'd say this was a man of physical violence. The story he wanted his body to tell was important to him. It is his letter. To us. Someone should decipher it. We'll need to show it around. Can I have it? I I should look at it later without the corpse's mask. Sure. Just don't lose it. How five? The glossy Can I get robbed in this game? By. Let's look at his, his eyes. eyes are milky white and blind to the world, protruding comically from their sockets. There is no one home, just subaquatic terrors there. Dark brown hair grows on his head. His face is ready to explode from the organic processes inside. The death's head grin has passed. What remains is an unrecognizable mess. Tell me, who are you, dead man? I'm gone. What? High five! Where have you gone? I can see your gun, but who are you? I'm a joke. Look at me. Shh. What do I tell a dead man when he says that he's a joke? Five questions? There is nothing funny about you. There is nothing funny about jokes either. Who are you when you were alive? A killer. A motherfucker and a killer. I have another question. Go ahead, Copa. Where have you... What do you guys want to ask? Where have you gone? Into the wild pile yonder. Oops, I picked the wrong one. Oh, we can ask out? Where's that? In the past. Way out in the west. I can't get the damn compartment in my ledger open. The blue heart. Oh, that's good shit. You'll love it. Just press down and fuck it open like you always do. Fuck it hard. Copopo the clown. He means force. It'll work. What is happening? What do you mean? I'm talking to you. It's the power of your... Imagination. Yeah, man! Don't be crazy! Inanimate objects and dead people can't really talk to you! Your wild imagination is doing this. Ask some more of those questions you love so much. My necktie is a fucking asshole! He loves those. Why do I love questions so much? Because you're a copperoni. It's like pepperoni, but Look cop? Look all of them go. Do you want more questions? Give me a comical amount of questions. Coming right up, Copper Rooney Rooney. This is getting up me now. Who killed you? Love did me in Brother Copo. It was love all along. Okay. 
Why do I feel like I have forgotten something terrible? Hazuka, thank you for the prime! Because you have. Oh, panic. Is my name Rooney? Fuck no. You're no Rooney. Rooney is obviously who... Not who I am. Between you and me, your name is probably... Harry. I feel like I've been getting a lot of Harry lately. Is this what happens to Harry Potter? When he realizes that his teenager years he was just high and imagined he was doing magic? You might be onto something there. Uh, can you ask me a question? Sure, Lobo. I can ask you a question. Why are you doing this? What? Looking at my face, motionless. Looking into my eyes. Standing here. Maybe... Why are you investigating Maybe he does. my murder? Asukawa, <laughs> thank you so much for your support to the channel. Uh, it allows me to get my my rabbit, blackjack and hookers, and my rabbit is very cute, very cute. Look how cute he is. I don't think you can see his face. Yeah, he he that that fur is him. Trust me, he's just very sleepy. Oh yeah, he he lay. Mm, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. He's sleepy. Maybe this will lead to something, something indescribable, unforeseen, miraculous. <gasps> what the fuck? I got this. A five. Something is on its way. Something hidden. It's coming. A miracle from the northwest, and it's almost here. You can feel it in the air, on your hands. The cold spring air smoothing them over. Do we say nine? I think nine is very rude to say to a dead person. Doesn't feel right. I say we just say enough and move on. I mean, we could say nine, but it's kind of rude, right? And I also feel like a lot of times the things you say, it's like a projection of what you feel about yourself. So I feel like if I tell him that I hate him, I'm more like expressing that I hate myself and that I stink and I'm boring. Because it's a familiar feeling to me. And I don't even know this dead man. Come back later, Corpo. Amuse yourself with my frank manners and my memento mori features. If possible, also, see me in your dreams. So, how do we get him down? I have some... Of course. You come back later. How do we get Are him down? Are you sure we finish the preliminary examination of the cadaver? We might miss some of these things once he's done. Okay, step back and have another look. The cadaver slowly twists on the cargo belt. His torso covered in tattoos and extremities blotched pink and yep. blue. It's going to take a step back. As you narrow your eyes, the monster before you blurs into a violent mess of green and pink. This is a trick. You've done it before. Pink is where the blood settled in the first hours post-mortem. You can use it to see if the corpse has been tampered with. Does his position at the time of death match the discoloration? Only the lower extremities are pink with a dash of blue. His fatted hands, thighs and his neck just above the noose. The rest of the corpse appears dark green in the cold spring air. His face and hands are pink, tight too. I see it. His neck too. The lividity goes right up his chin. We have good, well-pronounced discoloration here. Okay, relax your eyes. The monster comes back into focus. An explosion What's of color coursing with dark marbled veins. 
His stomach appears pregnant with something. Black liquid streams down his thigh and onto his boot. So what do you think? I think he's dead. He's beaten up. See the bruises? I think Chu is... I think he was upright after death. His hands, feet and neck are discolored. Agreed. Especially on the neck. The belt acted like a tourniquet, keeping the blood in his head. The hypostasis supports her hanging. Could it be... Could it still be he was moved after death? There's always a chance. We should check for ligament marks on his neck to see if they're in tune with the belt. He's beaten we have to up. get him down first. See bruises? I do. Most of them are post-mortem. Maybe even all of them. The delinquents have made our jobs harder with their little spot. Stop talking in riddles, coin slot. He means you fucked him up good, Kuno. Fucked him up brutal like. I think he's dead. I agree. There are crow's feet in his eyes. He's laughing silently. <laughs> Let's go! We made Kim laugh silently! Have five! His personality is no longer a part of the world. Totally dead. <gasps> the world no longer stores his personality in its composition. There was a time for that, and it ended seven days ago. Five? Dead. Daddy. Dad, dad, dead. Dabba doob doob dead. I agree. There are cr his personality. Totally dead. The war no longer stores his personality. That sounds about right. Yes. Okay. Okay, something's coming out of him. The pool of blood and feces has eaten into the frozen mud <gasps> below the man's feet. I know. Purge liquid. I know. Into it. I, I feel like I Kim is kind of proud of us. The victim appears to have contained no more than half a kilogram of digestion at the time of death. Oh. The fuck are you saying? <sighs> Talking about shit. That means that he didn't poop? Maybe he went to the toilet sometime before death? Maybe. But there is no breath to catch. Uh -oh. Only the cadaver filling the air and your nostrils. He okay, I think we're the done. The before you is naked. But for a pair of... Do we take him down? The man before you is naked. Let's take him down. Mm. The steel reinforced belt nice. presents a unique challenge. I brought chain cutters, but I don't see a good angle of approach to the belt. He doesn't actually think the challenge is unique. He thinks it's frustrating, annoying, and harder than he thought. The cadaver is a good 1.2 meters up. Neither one of us can reach the belt without assistance. And even if we do, there's the question of cutting the airship strength material. Panic. <laughs> Maybe we could shoot him now? Yeah! Bang bang time pig! Shoot his head off! How? With the buckle ties the rope to the branch. That's a good spot to aim. Point to it. There's the buckle holds the belt together. Well. Ah, yes, I see. If the shot hits that, there might be a chance to release the belt. Yeah, now we're talking. Entertain the Kuno with some shit. They'll miss. The pigs will miss Kuno. The lieutenant is undecided. On one hand, he wants to shoot some gun. On the other, it's an awfully stupid idea. Shit.
What do we do? Tree? Is this a good idea? One? I think we let him cho choose. I don't know. Maybe it's his decision to make. Silence. With his elbow sharp, the lieutenant unzips his jacket and produces a lightweight firearm. He drops a paper cartridge in the barrel, separates the scouring stick, and gives the cartridge five tucks. That's a Kiel A9090 armistice, mass-produced muzzle loader, ascetic, frugal, one of the most common firearms in the world. He then steps back and assumes the fellow Stess position, taking aim. The corner of his eye twitches. His finger is on the trigger. I think he's concentrating. Maybe we should say nothing. He's gonna fucking me! Shoot the kid. The kid's voice is drowned in a shrill blast that echoes off the walls of the surrounding tenements. A cloud of smoke slowly parts in the air as the lieutenant steps back and says to himself, God damn it. He feels bad about it. About his eyes, mostly. Just having bad eyesight. Probably from a young age. No. Whatever you do, do not console him. Fucking idiot! Mukapa asshole! Kuno could have hit it easy, but then Kuno is not fucking handicapped, is he? Can I kill these kids? Fuck. It says to not console him. We we succeeded in empathy. To, uh... I think three. Try again, maybe. No, we are lucky as it is. We didn't break anything, and the victim remains uncompromised. Any more mistakes could put us in an unfortunate position with the locals. We have eyes on us. I didn't do us any favors with that. What now? I have to say, it's beginning to look unlikely we can get him down without assistance. Fuck! Do you guys want me to try it? Is this a good idea? Usually when you guys want me to do something, it's a bad idea. Every time. But I'm tempted. Shit. Uh, just seven, eight of the time. Hi, I don't know if we should ask for help in the harbor. Because I feel like the harbor people are the ones that uh, that did this to him. According to... To Leo. Can I convince the body to just let itself... We are super sorry though. Maybe we can ask for help from the harbor? Ay, shit, I don't know. Shit. Shit. 
Shit, I'm tempted. So many of you are saying four. What's the worst that could happen? I could accidentally shoot myself and die. Honestly. What if I shoot Kim? There's no way, right? I would shoot Kim. Yeah, I could have a mental breakdown when I remember that I lost my gun. I feel like hitting Kuno with it would be a good idea. Maybe I should ask for help from the harbor. I was really hoping we wouldn't. The Union appeared to be suspect in this case. It seems like a dangerous route to go down. Yeah, wait, let's reconsider. But what other options? The corpse twists on the belt, like chicken on a skewer. <laughs> ah, you guys! I'm out of ideas. Let's have another look at him. Hmm. Let me talk to Kuno. Have you come to make your offering to Kuno? Shit. Okay, how about this? Next time we play, we decide. <laughs> I'll just think about it. I'll just think about it. I hope you guys had fun. I had a lot of fun. Thank you so much for being here. Mwah. I'm not sure what we'll be playing tomorrow. Maybe this, maybe something else. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It has been fun, though. I hope you guys had fun as well. Uh, please check out my, my YouTube channel to see a bunch of, like, the challenge runs that we did. Uh, come back tomorrow if you like this. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mwah. Have a good night. Have a good rest. Okay. I think I'll just take a good night because I'm 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 very I'm very very exhausted thank you mm, have a good night friends bye 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 boo boo I love you I'll go hang out with my bunny join our discord discord.tg slash loyalty yeah bye bye Thank you, thank you.